One of those days, that's not a good day. Unless we try to change it up a bit, and I don't get the 50k from... What's his face? I mean, I could just change it up. That'll actually make it a little bit more palatable. So I think I'm just gonna change it up. Two hundred hours, bike. That was two hundred hours. We're gonna just make this more palatable, which means I'm gonna have to kill the uh, what's his name, Claw Boy. And uh, I don't can't, I can't talk for shit anymore. That's why I'm retiring from streaming as of right this second. We'll have to kill Claw Boy in in uh, the capital. Which means we're not going to get the invasions that we usually get here, which is fine. It's just, I'm, I'm sick of running the same route. I'm tired of it. So, we're going to just do things a little differently here. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. We're not gonna kill this guy. It'd be the most efficient thing to do kill to kill this guy. We're not gonna do that. I've been streaming for almost three hours. I haven't gotten shit done, man. Nothing. Nothing is done. And that's the thing about these runs is that you do this kind of stuff all the time. This is literally what you're going to be doing. If anybody has that little crazy notion in their head, I think I want to be a pro soul streamer. I want to do some challenge runs. Remember this. You will run for three, four, seven... 15 hours, and you will not get jack shit done. Remember that. If you're okay with that, cool. But if you're not okay with that, you won't be able to do this for very long. Yep. She's very pretty, though. Look at that. Oh, the lipstick could be changed a little bit, maybe. For seven months? Yeah, it's like that, dude. It'd be like that.
The other part of it too is I don't really feel like doing doing it this way is very entertaining a lot of the time. Is it going to be free though or are you going to have to do the game pass thing you think? Like with the DLC, you guys think it's going to be something that just comes with the game or do you think they're going to like charge us like 60 bucks for it? I mean, it's worth 60 bucks from what they're saying. It's like worth $60. But, do you think they're actually going to charge us for it, or no? Probably 60 bucks, yeah, more than likely. I know where they're going, they already said it. They said they're going to something more linear and less like Elden Ring next run, next, uh, next game, which I'm, I'm grateful for, actually, because then it won't be a fucking five hour setup just to fucking start playing a challenge run in the game. Me too, man. Honestly, Adrian, something more linear sounds just right up my alley, really. Do you think we can pull off the fucking cheese? The dragon cheese? We'll try it. We're probably gonna die instantly, though. Elden Ring 2's never coming out, bro. Unless they signed a contract saying they're gonna make more than one game. I highly doubt it. Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, they're just getting more ridiculous, too. They won't do that either, Mike, because there's no contract for it. It was only a three-game contract for Bandai Namco to make three Dark Souls games. So they're not making another one. Or a second Bloodborne, because... Sony owns the rights to Bloodborne. It's all go it all comes down to publishing rights, man. All of it. All of it comes down to publishing rights. Quite literally. Yeah, DS4 is never happening. It's the same reason why they remake video games and remake fucking, uh... What's it called? Remake movies is to keep the copyrights up, but... There's really no reason to keep the copyrights up. You might get a, a Dark Souls remake maybe in, like... Another 30 years? If you're lucky? But that's pretty much it. That's, that's all you're gonna get. You're just gonna get Elden Ring and whatever else they make.
Who's Michael Zaki? I don't even know who that is. Well, that would have been bad. Oh! Michael Zaki? Okay. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, he said he was done with it. He did, yeah. Plus, you gotta think about it. so like Sekiro wouldn't have a sequel. There are a lot of reasons why Sekiro wouldn't have a sequel, and I've explained this before. Okay, so like you already know, everybody knows that Tenchu, it was supposed to be a Tenchu rehashing basically originally before they changed the idea of what it was supposed to be, right? Everybody knows that Tenchu, it was it became Sekiro, right? Which, all right, whatever, I don't care, it's a game. Do I think it's as good as Tenchu? Ooh, no. No. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it's as good. Just my opinion, but whatever. The stealth element in Tenchu far supersedes anything in Sekiro. Whatever. Combat system's good, though. But if they could've made it, the, you know, they could've made a game and used the same combat system, but whatever. Who cares, right? So, the reason why Sekiro 2 would never happen, number one. Okay? It was published by Activision. Okay? You gotta understand what that means. Published by Activision. What does that mean? What does Activision publish? Think about it. Anybody follow Activision's publishing? Knows exactly what games that they've published in the past. Especially recently. What is it? And why are those games necessarily not that great? And what happens to those companies that actually make and develop those games for Activision? Yes! So exactly what, what would be the reason for them not to release a second DLC? That is a legit DLC. Well, number one, Activision published it. Right? And Activision's known for being money-hungry pieces of shit. So, in working with Activision in the first place, they flew into a, horn a hornet's nest. And what, what I mean by this is that they started working with a company that only gives a shit about money. So why do you think they stopped just with the base game. They didn't continue, they didn't make a fucking DLC, they totally could have. There was even like hints about DLC, think about it, in the game itself. But that company is not a good company to work with, especially if you're trying to do something with integrity. It doesn't work that way. And FromSoft is known for making stuff with integrity. Bandai Nam Namco lets them wi run wildly with their shit. And it doesn't let the you know they don't they don't want ask for up charges and I'm not saying that Bandai Namco ain't about money because they are about money too, but they're just very different from Activision. That's what I'm trying to say. That's exactly why they don't make it a second O2. That's one of the reasons why because Activision publishing is a bad idea for them. They don't like shit like that, and I don't blame them for not liking shit like that. So a lot of times you see like IGN and Game Informer and stuff and they talk about like Oh well the only reason why they haven't made it is because they're not listening to their fans But the reality is that their hands are tied by red tape anyways 
even if Miyazaki was was interested in making a goddamn sequel to a game, which he's not, they wouldn't be able to do it anyways because it'd have to be all on terms with fucking, you know, contracts and all this other shit about publishing. So it's not possible for them to do the stuff that the fans want them to do, and even if it was, they're not going to because they don't want to. But it's funny because you always get the freaking dudes on, like, IGN and fucking whatever else talking about... Well, they're just, they don't understand what the fans really want and all this crap. And the reality is it's not, it has nothing to do with what the fans want. It's what the creative direction of the fucking developer wants. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with that. Never has. GG Buttercup! You literally never seen that. Welcome to Forlorn Night Gaming, Kiba. Where you see the unseen. That's technically a boss. Chivalry is really good. That's a good ass game, bro. Yeah. I haven't played it. I know of more now. Yeah, I've been wanting to play it for a while. I haven't played it. I've heard it's really good, though. I just, I've never had a chance to actually play the game, unfortunately. I've heard it's kind of along the same lines because I think it inspired chivalry to exist, basically. I'm going to need 35 Vigor anyway, so I'm just going to go to 35 Vigor. <clears throat> It's more difficult. What I want is like a, a Tarkov, but middle a mid a middle uh, a medieval Tarkov is what I want. That's what I would really crave to play something like that. Like a medieval Tarkov would be amazing. 
Imagine that shit would be so cool, dude. I would play this shit out of a medieval Tarkov, bro. Sounds like fire? Yeah, bro, it would be really good. You could have like a band of rebels and shit and a band of knights and like you could become cavalry men. Yeah. Yeah, extraction souls like would be fucking amazing. That's what I'm saying, dude. They don't they haven't tapped into that shit that way yet. You know, with like a system a, a combat system kind of like uh what's it called? Like more now or whatever. Like dude, yeah. That'd be fucking awesome. Put out on Unreal 5, you know? That'd be sick, dude, on Unreal 5. Jesus, dude. stuck against the wall. I can't be doing that. You see that little gap right there? I keep getting stuck against that. I, can't, I did it again, dude. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Traditional first try, yeah, my ass. With the cookery, does that help? Does it help the aggro? Does it really? I didn't know that. That's actually interesting. How would you use it in, in that situation? Well, lots of them, actually. You can cheese most of the bosses in all the games. Most of them can be cheesed.
There's some that you can't necessarily cheese, or it just hasn't been found out lately, uh, yet, as of now. You can even cheese Millennia, bro, like... You can cheese every boss, basically. Oh, interesting, I didn't know that, really? You have a video of it, man? I would love to learn that strat. Because I'm tired of the flaky-ass fucking bullshit that happens sometimes right there. Is it more consistent than what I was doing? That's all that really matters. Not for you? Yeah, it's rough, dude. Oh, you can make a video afterwards? Alright, man, I appreciate it. You do the quit out. Does that work too? Quitting out right there? Yeah, dude, hell yeah, bro. <laughs> I would love a video that would make that more consistent. Any, any any help is help, bro. Like, seriously. Even if I choose not to do it, at least I know how to do it for later. You know what I mean? Like, let's say I'm doing another type of, like, uh, challenge run or something. It would be very good to know that kind of stuff. If he doesn't die on the first jump, I quit out. Okay. Uh, let's make it daytime so it's not necessarily that hectic. See, this is what I mean. Like, sometimes you need to do this. Like, usually my... Look, so my, my run is very optimized at this point. But running the optimized run is fucking boring after a while. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Usually you can go and, like, you know, like I was doing before. Just go straight to the bosses, kill them, run through. Go to Liurnia. It's much faster. This way it takes longer. I'm not saying it doesn't, but it breaks up the monotony of doing it the way I was doing it before, and it's not as boring. So sometimes you need to, like, change the strats just to make sure you don't get fucking bored with the run. So, like, I could I could have done what I usually done, go up there, kill more god, kill blah, 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 you know, just do the huge. But this time I'm not doing that. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm sick of... I'm sick of the fucking 
the route. I'm sick of it. It's, it's fucking boring. It's one of the reasons why I don't like doing no-hit runs. I mean, I've done them, I just don't like them. Because it's literally the same... And I don't, I don't know how Kiba's been doing it for seven months, because that shit would drive me insane, but... But of course, with randomizer, it makes it a little more interesting, I think. But still, it would bore me eventually. I'd get bored with it. Gotta get the. I know, man. I know the feeling, bro. That's where I'm at right now. I'm on the same vibe. Gotta get the run, yeah. It'll just happen. Yeah, I can see that. Like with the all bosses, no death run I did in in Dark Souls 2. I didn't mean for it to happen, it just happened. I think that's just the natural course of stuff sometimes. Sometimes you're just not trying to get it and you end up getting it anyways. Run a lot further before you die, that's good stuff. Does anybody know if the Blade of Eo Chad or however he said is any good? Does anybody use that? Eo Shad. However you say that. Oh, I thought I talked to her, whatever. We did talk to her, what the fuck? Your arcade. Baby Marais. 
But I mean, like, I know the, uh, what's it called? The drill move? If you pair it with, like, the winged sword talisman or whatever, doesn't it, like, isn't it ridiculous amounts of damage or something, or no? Rai is? Okay. This is basically okay. All right. I didn't get the solid pre-order. I learned my lesson though. The thing is, is I can't have like physical copies of anything anymore because my PlayStation just can't handle them. Like the fucking, the disc drive just doesn't work anymore. I put it through hell though, to be honest, on the 200 hour run. I, I put it through hell so it just didn't want to work anymore and I totally understand why it stopped working. But yeah, it just didn't want to do anything anymore, which I get. Like, it makes sense to me that that's a thing. Now, I haven't seen how they sell disc drive replacements yet. I'm just going to wait, and I'm going to wait for it to crap out completely and just get a pro. I've decided eventually. Not not anytime soon, but when this craps out completely, then I'll just get a pro. Because getting the, the pro is probably a better choice for me. One to one uh, digital versions, what do you mean? Like if you own it, you're talking about downloading it on another one? Is that what you're talking about? I know that this setup is taking longer than usual, okay? So don't get mad at me for that. I just needed a break from the setup we were running. It, it was very effective on time, but I'm just, I can't. I just can't right now. I have to do something else. <clears throat>
I mean, how that... I mean, that how that now you can turn a digital version of PS5 into disc and drive... Really? That's crazy as shit. Is it, like, encoded or something, or what? That's fucking crazy, bro. Alright, I'll see you, man. I'll see you around when you come back or whatever. Oh my god, I'm so bored with this shit. Alright. All right, man. You shoot. You gonna shoot it through PM or what? Alright, let me know, man.
Oh my god. Okay. Now I'll go the other way. I need something satisfying, guys. <laughs> we need to talk about we need to talk about something satisfying. What's satisfying out there? The sound of a soda when you open it? It's very satisfying. What else is satisfying? Melted butter? Satisfying. What else? Look, man, it's satisfying indeed, yeah. Cold beer on a hot day, yeah, that's definitely satisfying. First sip of coffee in the morning, oh, baby. I saw it, Bo, I just don't want, I didn't want to read it. <laughs> Dude, yeah, cutting into wrapping paper, yeah, bro. Petting a dog is very satisfying, yes. No, actually, not dying isn't satisfying. Believe it or not, Mo. You know what's satisfying? Not playing the game the way I'm playing it. That's extremely satisfying.
Steam beta, nice, dude. I mean, they already put DLC re uh, release stuff into the game, dude. It's already there before this this patch, so I don't necessarily know if that's the truth. They did haircuts and costumes that are basically hidden in the game that you can't touch. I mean, I don't know, man. It could could be correct and it could be wrong. Yeah, they already put DLC stuff out, though. And it wasn't when they did Coliseum either, it was like after Coliseum. So I don't I don't really know. And then what if we're waiting another three months, y'all, and you're going to be saying the same thing in three months? I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm just being opti I'm just being realistic here. The release? Okay, yeah, that makes sense, actually. The Iron Cleaver, baby. That shit's pretty good in PvP. A lot of people don't realize what's gonna happen with the Iron Cleaver a lot of the time. Okay. We got this. We got this setup going. It's gonna happen this time. Just wanna get the setup, setup done. It, just the setup's all I need.
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm realistic about it. I mean, I kind of think it's more torture to, to, like, actually think about what it's going to come out than to wait for it to come out. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I view it. It's more torture to, like, worry about when it's coming out as opposed to waiting till it's done to become to come out. You know what I mean? All right. Mm, I'm gonna level my strength. Twenty one's perfect. Okay. Oh, okay, that's different. Yeah, that makes sense. I just don't know what they're planning, though. I'm pretty excited to figure it out. I mean, it, it's not a bad thing. I just don't like to sp speculate. What's up, Willis? Welcome. Do y'all see my drop? I, it might be true, yeah. 
It might be true. It's correct. And now we'll have a new route route to build basically from scratch. If the, it does drop, you know what I mean. <laughs> It's like you just finished this run. Now guess what? You get to do it again with DLC. It's like motherfucker, really? <laughs> That's what's gonna happen, bro. You do realize that, right? That shit gonna happen. At least I'll be ready for it. You know what I mean? It's kind of a good reason to fucking run this the way I'm running it, if you think about it. Because if it does come out, we'll have World's First, uh, No Death, all bosses, including DLC, if we do that. It's, in, it's good preparation for DLC, think about it. You know what I mean? Are you ready for Godskin Trio? No, I'm ready for Bed of Chaos 2. That's what I'm ready for. You guys ready for Bed of Chaos 2? It's gonna happen. Quartet. No more market bosses, please. I don't want to see no more market bosses, bro. I'm fucking over market. Please, God. Shit's annoying, dude. I'm so tired of market.
Bed of Chaos 2 and the Revenge of Pinwheel. That's what we need to look forward to. Probably gonna run DLC on your level 1. That's a good idea, dude. I'm gonna run it no death all bosses plus DLC. I think I'm gonna do that. More tree avatars. I don't wanna see no more tree avatars, bro. So tired of the tree avatar. You're gonna have the Margit duo or some shit like that? It's gonna be fucking terrible, bro. I don't wanna see that shit. <laughs> Anime style. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Millennia, millennium duo. <laughs> Christ. In the second phase, they transform, right? Because why wouldn't they? I don't think they're going to bring Millennia back. I hope they don't. I hope they do something completely different. The reason why I say this is because they got their ripoff freed in this game, okay? They did it. Whatever. Who cares, right? What they need is a Sword Saint character. That I would be okay with. Or like a dragon like fucking Dark Eater Madeer or some shit. Or something visually stunning like... Like, uh... What's his face? Gale. I'm tired of this shit, like, it's literally this, the only boss that a lot of these people have ever fought that's been slightly difficult has been Millennia. It's like, they need something different, they need something from the- if they're gonna pull this bullshit about just literally revamping bosses, they at least need to pull something visually stunning and amazing out. Or just bring something all together brand new, from scratch. Yeah, I did. I killed four fire giants. Yeah, and it was actually eight fire giants, but whatever. It was actually eight fire giants. Because in the second phase, they didn't have separate health bars. They ended up being like full on fire giants in the second phase. It was stupid as hell.
Oh, we didn't add fucking Margit on there, did we? Yeah, Margit needs to go on that list. He's the fifth boss. The only reason why I killed him is because I wanted the pouch. L literally don't care about anything but that stupid ass pouch. Get shot by archers? Yeah, no shit, Dave. Too easy. That's what I mean, dude. Compared to fucking Madeira, Madeira was a beast, bro. Like something, it, the way that Madeira fought, in my opinion, is the pinnacle of all Souls Dragon boss fights. Like Placidusix is just basically tedious. You don't feel the viciousness of Placidusix. He's kind of slow because he's dying. He's a dying dragon. That's the point. But if if they were to make like if they were to you were to go back in time and like imagine fighting a young Placidusax or something like that, that would be badass. You see what I'm saying? But like this whole bullshit is just annoying as fuck sometimes. Like where he was capable to use all his heads and all this shit. You know what I mean? Like it's like yeah, he's an old fucker. You just he just sits there and you smack him. And he shoots lightning, and that's it. Like, big deal. You know what I mean? Before we. But deer at least feels like fucking feral and beastly, and like, you know what I mean? Like, when you're fighting him, you feel the magnitude of his size because you have to be able to account for the, 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 le the depth of the field because of how massive it is. That boss is so massive. And at the same time, it doesn't let you hit it in the body while it's sitting straight down you know what i mean you have to find a place to actually attack madir you can't just smack him in the side of the body you have to actually stay toe to toe in its face shooting it in the face punching it in its face do you know what i mean like with placid Dusax, he just sits there and granted he is powerful and it is an interesting boss fight it's just not a great dragon boss fight in my opinion it's just another like kind of he's just kind of dying and almost near death and you know what i mean it doesn't it doesn't evoke like the actual knight versus a dragon fight for me like madir does madir does that for me like the traditional in a story like the arthurian knight fighting a dragon type vibe Placid Dusex is like a half-dead dragon getting his ass whooped, basically, but he can still kill you because he's got the puncher's chance, as they say in boxing, when you get old. But other than that, he's, he's not really that scary. You know what I mean? Fucking Madeira is menacing as shit, dude, you know what I mean? That's what I mean, dude. If, if he was like a, an actual younger dragon that wasn't close to death, it'd be definitely a different boss fight. And if he wasn't just on his ass the whole time, you know what I mean? But there's nothing wrong with the fight. It's just not as intense, in my opinion, as Madeir because of the fact that Madeir moves as much as he does or she does. You know what I'm saying? To the GG. 
No, yeah, definitely Madeira's one of the best bosses of all time. That's 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 why it's hard to kind of compare Madeira to any of the other bosses in the series, even. Like, that's why Madeira is my favorite boss of all time when it comes to Souls games. And I'm saying this because even, even though my favorite game is Dark Souls 2, I will admit my favorite bosses are in Dark Souls 3. They are just, like, leagues above them. You know what I mean? Like, even Gale, even though I talk shit about Gale being easy, because he is, if once you learn his patterns, he's not that hard. But Gale is a pretty badass boss. He's menacing as fuck, dude, especially in the second phase. That transformation in, like, the death the death sorcery the blood sorcery that comes out of him and chases you around and the wings you know the way it looks and stuff dude oh my god bro that that boss fight is terrifying the first time you fight him by yourself it is absolutely terrifying the first time you fight him Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, Millennia is the only one in this game that kind of has the same visuals. Oh, Freed is a great fight, yeah. Dude, do you remember the first time you got her down the second phase, and then you're like, holy shit, there's a fucking third phase, bro? You guys ever remember that? You ever think about the fact that you were fighting her, and like, you were gonna kill her, and you're like, she's dead! And then all of a sudden, she gets resurrected, and you're like, holy shit. That's what I mean, man. That's like that's that's such a great experience, a great memory, you know what I mean? So I said this game is okay. It's it's not a bad game. But it, like compared to like the bosses in Dark Souls 3, man, it ain't much. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't much comparatively. Because there are some bosses, like I said, that just don't have the flavor of the game. And there are bosses that predominantly have the flavor of the game. And this game, like I was saying before, Bloodborne, when you're playing Bloodborne, you know you're playing Bloodborne. You know you're fighting a Bloodborne boss. Because you know how that boss looks, because it looks like a Bloodborne boss. The way it moves is like a Bloodborne character or a Bloodborne fucking monster. You know what I mean? This game plays a lot like Dark Souls. So there is a, it doesn't have its own voice a lot of the way. You know, it's mostly played like Dark Souls, except for maybe three bosses in the game. What they need is something that makes the game stand out completely. Like the DLCs in the other games helped with the uh, making them stand out in general. You know what I mean? Like this doesn't feel like Elden Ring. It just feels like a Dark Souls game to me. You know what I mean? I don't feel the Elden Ring in it all that much. Rykard and fucking Radon and like Malaketh are the most Elden Ring-esque bosses and even Estelle, you know what I mean, are pretty Elden Ring-y. But like Godfrey is a Dark Souls boss. Millennia is a Dark Souls slash Bloodborne boss. Do you see what I'm saying? Even the fucking, what is it, Magma Worm is basically Dark Souls 1 boss. The, the fucking Erd Tree avatars, Dark Souls 1 bosses. Yeah, Sekiro, the thing that makes Sekiro bosses so great too is the fact that they, the in-fight mechanics are definitely higher tier than even the Souls games. The in-fight mechanics are what make the game really good. Because each boss fights differently and they have their own like thing, you know what I mean? Which makes it interesting. This game, This game doesn't have that either. It's missing that. That's why I was saying, like, I really was hoping that they were going to add, like, def a deflect system so that if you chose to be a deflector, you could. 
to create a difference between the classes and how you play the game. You know, but that was never a thing, obviously. There was never gonna be a thing either. To like change how you fight bosses would have been an interesting concept, but not gonna happen basically, sadly. Just like as an optional thing too, not like an actual it's part of the game type thing, you know what I mean? Cause it would've been cool to do a deflect only fucking playthrough of this game. You know, and I don't think that system is, is that bad. Like, it's pretty good. If they were to allow you to do it with other weapons besides the fucking katana, you know what I mean? Then it would've been interesting, but... And that's kind of what, uh, what's it called? Lords of the Fallen tried to do, but... I mean, it's Lords of the Fallen, what are you gonna do?
Why do we kill that guy again? I forgot. We kill him because he dies, right? Yeah, that's right. That's why we kill him. Okay. We're basically where we were before. have to finish this part right now and get our goddamn mimic get the spear kill Rikard and then we should be able to get everything else we need for the run finally happened last time I wasn't paying attention and I killed myself by accident Time before that, I got killed by a stupid ass uh, cemetery shade that doesn't usually kill me. We we're at like 115 bosses or something like that. What's up, Isaiah? Welcome. He killed me because of the the chariot. I ended up sm getting smacked into the chariot in the bat of, bat, uh, in the bottom of one of the hero graves. And when I got up, he was there. And usually, I end up hitting him with the fucking sword, and he dies. But not this time. This time, I missed him because he kept stun locking me. Number one, number two. When I finally got a chance to hit him, he was basically invulnerable. So then he ended up fucking bleeding me out, and I died. I mean, the way I'm doing it right now isn't the most efficient way. I'm only doing this because I'm bored. The way that I did it this time without killing God uh, Godric first. It's because I got bored doing it. Like, it's fucking hard to be consistent when you're getting fucking bored doing it. You know what I mean? That and then, of course, like, I mean... One thing won't happen the first time or even the seventh time. Sometimes it doesn't happen until, like, way later. With the cemetery shade and all that, that was kind of one of those situations where you wouldn't really know unless it happened. And it did happen, so it means I'm going to approach that differently next time. It's basically how that happens. Because the, the runs where I'm like 20 in, even 30 in, they're not real runs. They're just practice. The ones where I actually get to pl past 100, those are the runs that I've lost. The real runs. I don't think so. I think this is way slower, Jane, because we still have to kill Godric. You see what I'm saying? We still have to kill Godric, so I really don't think this is any faster. I think it's much slower, actually. Because next time, what I could do is just literally fall off and just survive. You know what I mean? But the, the problem with that is that if I fall off and survive, I might also get hit and die and jump and basically jump to my death. So, I mean, there's that. But... It would be better if I just go in there with a fucking shield and just block. Do you see what I'm saying? If I go in there with a shield and just block, then I'll give me a chance to actually hit him. Which I will do this time. I'll actually just whoop out a shield just for that part. The only thing that sucks is in order to learn those consistent parts of the game that are later, you have to do the whole early part of the game again. Which sucks because, I mean, look at three and a half hours just to set up the game just to get to the point where you're going to be, what, almost ten hours in, nine hours in already just so that you can die to the same motherfucker doing the same thing. It's pretty fucking terrible. You know what I mean? It's definitely a pain in the ass.
Okay. We've made it here to Rikard. We need to buy Golden Foul Feet, the recipe for Golden Foul Feet. That's why we killed Patches. Also, if we don't kill Patches, he ends up dead. I've explained this before. And we won't be the ones killing him, so we have to kill him early to get it over with. Now I'm buying Golden Foul Feet. But I'm also going to pick up the Radon Great Bow as well while we're here, because I don't want to fucking deal with it later. And talk to the old ladies. Okay. Now we're gonna go exactly where I just died. Which is right here. And we're gonna go fight the Mimic. I don't know if I bought the shield. I did not buy the shield, but that's okay. I will use this. I mean, that's the thing about it. Even if, if you're super skilled, nothing will prepare you. Being prepared is more powerful than being skilled sometimes. Like, think about the way that I'm running this game right now. Like, if I wanted to run it like, like let's say, you know, the other guy would run it. You know, the other pro would run it with like, oh, we're just going to use the Banished Knight Hellbird. I'll probably grab the Golden Hellbird. We'll just double hand them and I'll just jump attack the motherfuckers and kill them. And we'll, we'll do all, we'll use all their roll patterns and I'll attack each one, you know, according to the, what their, their combat system is. And yeah, I mean, I could do that. I could pull that. It would take longer, but it could it could be done. But I'd rather be prepared. And the thing is, is you don't have to have a lot of skill to do what I'm going to do. You just have to know the game well enough. Like, think about it that way. Because if I'm going straight for the Blasphemous Blade, right? I could go fight Ricard right now. And probably kill him. No problem. But I'm going to go get the Mimic. Why am I getting the Mimic? Because I'm being prepared. Because we're going to need the Mimic. At least, I don't really need the Mimic, but I want to use the Mimic. And anybody who's smart enough to understand, like, the Mimic's going to be good enough to help you through most boss fights, will probably grab the Mimic, too. And, of course, which weapon am I using? The Blasphemous Blade. Does the Blasphemous Blade take a lot of skill to use? Nope. Doesn't take any skill, really. But... I'm super prepared. I'm preparing in a way that will plan for success. That's what I'm doing. So I don't know about being skilled. It's just about how well you know the game. Granted, there are things that I know that most people won't know when they're playing this and trying a no death run, but you know, where to stand, where not to stand, that kind of stuff, where to set up you know, the mimic so that he's distracting the boss and I could just kill him from afar. Like, you know what I mean? There's stuff like that, but it doesn't take as much skill to do what I'm doing as you think it would. I don't even know what PlayStation Portal is, bro.
You can spam that blade with abandon. It's true. Handheld PlayStation system? I don't know. I'm probably gonna get the Steam Deck before I get that. You learned my trick, baby! <laughs> Steam games? Yeah, but there's a reason why I want Steam Deck. Come on, bro. Because I'm planning on doing um, hitless boss fights while skydiving. There's like, there's two folds reasons like for my extreme diet and weight loss and all this other stuff. It's because one, I want to make myself more palatable to myself, obviously. The other part of it is I'm going to start skydiving pretty soon. Um, and my goal is to do boss fights hitless while skydiving. So I can't do that with the PS Portable. I have to do that with the, the, the Stream Deck, basically. The Steam Deck, excuse me. That's only 200 bucks. I mean, because you're only streaming the games, that's why. But I think it might be worth it if you, you're just playing around your house or whatever, you know? Definitely might be worth it. Yeah, but if it doesn't have the propensity... So, number one, I'm never buying an Xbox. Anything. I'm just going to tell you straight out. It's not going to happen. I'm not buying anything Xbox. I already have a PC. I want something that has more customization. I don't, I don't want an Xbox. I don't need an Xbox because I have a PC. So, I want something that I can customize. They can be expensive from what I understand. I've owned Xbox. That's the thing about it. I used to own... I That was like one of the first mainstream modern systems. I, I owned Xbox 360. I owned Xbox One. 
You know what I mean? I just don't want to own another Xbox ever again, basically. I started streaming on Xbox, actually. You're never going to get me to change my mind, Justin, as much as... I just don't want to pay money to Microsoft for something that's Microsoft. When I can buy a computer, that's basically Microsoft. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't understand the point of me doing any of that, is what I'm trying to tell you. There really is no fucking point. It has to do with the fact that I'm not willing to give him more money. Let's put it that way. X one X player is not a, an Xbox man. It's just another one-handed. Isn't there some that are like nine hundred dollars though? If it's not Xbox and it's not owned by Microsoft, I will buy it. But if it is Xbox and it is owned by Microsoft, I won't buy it. I already have a fucking $3,000 computer. I don't want to give them more of my money. I didn't want to buy a PlayStation 5. I wanted to keep the PlayStation 4 and play my games on PlayStation 4, but I couldn't do that because of Demon Souls. Quite literally, I don't, I don't want anything to do with buying more shit. But unfortunately, as a streamer, you have to buy shit even though you don't want to half the time. Just like, I don't want to buy another PlayStation 5, but I'm going to have to because... The exclusives that are coming out for it are games I'm going to have to play anyway, so... You know what I mean? $3,000 for a fucking computer is enough for me. You know what I mean? I don't want to give them any more money this decade. Do you understand what I'm saying? Newest Windows, and that's perfectly acceptable in my opinion, yeah. I hate giving these companies my money. I fucking can't stand it. Like, it's different when it's from soft. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, the, the formats I have to play on, I don't agree with. But, like, if it's from soft, I will drop cash. Like, if they cho told me that the DLC was going to cost 300 bucks, I would find $300 to pay them. Gladly. No problem. No questions asked. Right? But I think Console War is like... A, I know that you're saying that it isn't an Xbox. It isn't owned by Microsoft. And that's perfectly okay. But if it was, I wouldn't buy it. And the reason why I say this is because I think console wars are fucking stupid. They're for dumbass people. People that are like, oh yeah, I choose Xbox over PlayStation and all this crap, dude. Fuck. Who cares? You know what I mean? I don't give a shit about any of that. 
I think it's a waste of motherfucking time. Like, I have both and I don't want both. I literally, I wish I could just play all my shit on my computer. I don't want to have a PlayStation, but I have one. Granted, you know, the thing is the community helped me paint it off, you know what I mean? And I'm grateful for that and there's nothing wrong with you guys helping me and helping me out and all this other stuff to make sure we paid it off and whatnot, but... I just don't want to have to buy this shit. I just have to buy this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's dumb when people do the GMC over Ford thing. That's fucking stupid. It's a waste of my fucking time, too. Do I prefer GMC? Probably. Probably do, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those people that buys a sticker, you know, of somebody peeing on an Xbox. You know, it's just fucking stupid. It's a waste of fucking time. Did we buy the bell? I don't remember if we bought it. I think we did. That's what I mean. I just, I can't get into that shit. It's just like people that love to fucking bicker over stupid shit for no reason. That's basically what that reminds me of. Yeah, we did buy the bell. Yeah, exactly. I don't need more than that. I don't need a, more than a decent PC and a decent fucking, you know what I mean? Like, you really don't need more than that.
That was a rough fight, man. We almost lost. That was rough as shit. Got it done, though. GG anyway, yeah, that was pretty bad. That was a terrible fight. But the good news is we're pretty much done with the setup almost, thank God. Feels like uh, getting the groceries. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty much like that. Go to get the necessities. It's very boring, this part of the run. So I said, like, that's why I like getting it over with as fast. Because you could do it, like, as you're going. But it just feels like getting it over because it's a chore. Because it gets boring doing it on the run, even. Like, it's not fun to do. You know what I mean? It just gets worse. The longer you wait, it just makes it worse. Okay, finally. Which is cool because that means we get to kill Godric on the actual clearing of, of uh, what's it called? Clearing of Limgrave, which we don't really get to do at all. No, I don't think I've done that yet, which should be pretty interesting with all the setup. It, it will probably blast the living shit out of him though, which is going to be awesome to be honest with you. You're still here watching, man? I appreciate it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna probably blast the living shit out of them. Which will be hilarious.
All right, let's go kill this dude real quick because, well, we're gonna have to kill him, so. Just to make sure that we get to Mogwin super early, that's what we're gonna have to do. Damn it. 15 months of support, man. Thank you so much for the 15 months. I appreciate you very much. Come on, get out, get out of that menu. We need this. Yeah, man, that's good shit. Thank you for the year of supportage. I appreciate it, dude, very much. Really, bro? Wow, bro, really? Fuck that. Bye. We got him. That guy ain't no pushover either, by the way. He's pretty rough. That guy. Alright, let's get this. Because you love Souls games. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Still here, quick deck. Yeah, dude, I, I appreciate you being here. Finally. Finally, the run is starting to look like a run. Took all damn day to get it going, though. Finally, though. to the GG. No, oh, I understand, man. You're going to you're going to college there, boy. Don't worry about it. I understand that. No worries. It's no big it's no big thing. But I do appreciate those who do support as well. Very, very much. Let's get this shit over with. All right, so we got we're gonna kill these dudes first for the talisman. Then we're gonna go up the capital, kill some bosses at the capital. Then I'm gonna get off. Because this setup has taken way too long to fucking even... We should be, like, at 200 bosses right now, you know what I mean? We shouldn't even be doing that motherfucking setup right now.
Yeah, I know about. I've known about that for years. I've never used it. I don't know why I've never used it. I just never used it. Okay. Okay, I got the see the reason why we do this cave is because it's really dangerous. So I mean I got it done and it's over with for that reason. Okay. Now we need to go this way. Saints Bridge, Summon Water Outskirts. We need to go here. working it's fine it happens not all of us can be perfect okay Just kidding. why haven't you won the, uh, the the lottery yet Quinn what's wrong with you you should win the lottery sir so you don't have to work anymore you should win the lottery sir I wish you win the lottery Okay. Catch up on the on a restream, yeah, man. It, it, there's not much to watch. There's just a lot of failures today. Actually, a shit ton of failures. So you're not missing much. Get stuck. That's fine. So we needed that. 13. We need one more thing over here.
No, this isn't the same run. It's a different run, Jesse. We actually cheesed the dragon this time around. Which is pretty funny. We traced we cheesed Grail was which was pretty hilarious this run. And the Calvary Man, but we didn't actually fall off this time. Love a good cheese, yeah. Cheese is good, sir. Alright, cool. Let's get this shit. And the talisman. We need one more miracle. Then we need to get some... Dude, there's so much to do in this run. It's just fucking disgusting, bro. Oh, man. Alright. Okay, so we got that. Let's go back here. Let's go here, yeah. Dancing naked to the music, you weirdo. Alright. dollars <laughs> why not right might as well all right so we gotta go here sit down right here real quick like go get the miracle upstairs
Whoop. Well, that's, that's dangerous. Kill him, man. Fuck. There we go. Okay, flame grab thy strength. Grabbed it. A couple more things to do, and then we're done here. What's up, Mark? Welcome. How you doing, man? Hey, shit on your driveway? Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> What's the, so it's still freezing everywhere, right? Is what you guys are saying. Over here it's really warm in my house right now. I don't know why it's so warm. The sun is making it really hot in my house. I don't know why that is. I mean, you want to trade, man. <laughs> Jesse. It's Arizona. What do you expect, dude? Seriously. It's going to be hot here no matter what time of year it is. Okay, that's good enough. All right. All right, I gotta come here. There's so there's so much to do here. All right, so we gotta go over here, get some, get one of the crystal tears, get golden fireflies. We gotta go kill Godric. After we kill Godric, man, this is so fucking bullshit. This run.
Minus three. Still on the way. 26 degrees here in the Panhandle, Texas. What Alfred Hitchcock presents? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I've watched that a long time ago. For about another week? I thought you said it was one week only, Jane. Jesus. What is this other week shit? Seriously? That's whack. Minus five feels like minus 28. So when you guys go out, how does that work? Like, I know I, it's it's just to me, it boggles my mind because I've never been in temperate cold temperatures like that. I've never been in anything that cold. Do you guys go out at all? Like, I mean, what do you fucking wear, bro? Like, it, the fuck do you wear out there if you do go out? It hurts your soul, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it does, I'm, I'm not denying that. But I just wonder, how the fuck do you go outside? What do you put on? What is it, you got like three layers of clothes on or some shit? Or and do you, How do you warm up your car, man, after being out in the fucking cold like that? Like. But what if it doesn't start because it's too cold? Does that ever happen? Or no? Fifteen to twenty minutes to warm up your car. Oh, no shit, Mr. I didn't know that. Having a meeting, they gotta hook up a jumper pack, extra power, crank it. Jesus. As many layers as you can stand? Well, that's understandable. Have a AAA member. I wonder how much they get paid to fucking do that. They put out block heaters to warm their engine. Hey, that's not a bad idea, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. That sounds fucking legit, too. Ugh. 
Okay, finally. My god, dude. Can actually start getting somewhere now. Every six to eight hours. Do you have a timer? Or you just guesstimate. You just live there so long. You just figure out when it's gonna be. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. That sounds insane. Okay. Finally we get to kill this fucker. Okay, that's done. Crab! He does look like a crab. <laughs> uno mas, Simon. Uno mas. Para aquí. Alright, let's go this way. Then we'll go fight Godric. Then we'll go to the capital. Then we'll stop the run for, the, for right now. I might come back later tonight. Who knows? Or just tomorrow. Just depends. <clears throat> because the setup is the worst part. You all know this. You've seen the setup. It is... Not fun to do, it is terrible. Dark Souls 2 is not that bad, man. I don't know why people think it's hard. It's actually the game I have the least amount of trouble with. <sighs> you want to see a pretty good run in Dark Souls 3. Hold on. 
Dark Souls 2, excuse me. Let's see. It. There's a good one right there. Yep. If you guys want to see, this is an old, the older version of the same run I did not too long ago. No Vanquisher seal, though. Alright, finally. Now I get to do this. 50k. We're gonna grab now. And we're gonna kill Godric. Right after we get what we need from this place. We need two things. We need the Lord's Rune and we need the plus 10. Alright, so this part we just get the last upgrade stone for this and it'll be plus 10. We're going to start getting a, a, a surge of people coming in and asking me if I've ever played Dark Souls 2. It's the next trend because someone else is trying to no-hit Dark Souls 2. Right now, we're going to have a bunch of people come in here. Have you played Dark Souls 2? That's the hard game. It's like, dude, yes. I played it in my fucking sleep, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I fucking done 90 no-death runs in it. Like, you, sh it's not my fault you haven't been here for more than fucking 30 seconds, bro. I spent a whole year no death running fucking Dark Souls 2, quite literally. You know what I mean? That's like, it's always, it comes in waves, I've noticed that. Have you ever played this game? Have you ever played that game? Yes, I have. 
You just haven't been here long enough. Sorry, you suck. Excuse me. Yeah, that's another one. You just should have played that game. You should play it. You should try it out. It's like I played it when it was popular. There's no reason for me to ever play it again. Quite literally. Unless I'm no death running it, I'm probably not going to play it. I've got more no death runs in Dark Souls 2 than anybody's than anybody ever has. Quite literally. More. More no death runs in Dark Souls 2 than anybody who's ever done it before. Quite literally. And you're excited for people to be assholes and chat with Wukong, because that's what's gonna happen. People are just gonna be fucking stupid about it. And then after I'm done playing it for good, then they're gonna come back. You should try that game, Wukong. It's gonna be it heard it's good. Why haven't you why haven't you played it yet? Dumb as shit is what it is, dude. It's assuming that somebody hasn't done something before is stupid as hell. It's the stupidest shit you could do. Especially if the dude's a pro. Like, what, why would you even pretend? Like, it's fucking dumb, dude. Alright, that's done. We can go kill Godric now. What about Liza P, yeah? Or my favorite, Sean asking about Armored Core. Like, dude, come on, are you fucking serious, bro? Yeah, I've been streaming for five years. The first year I streamed, I played nothing but level 1 runs in DS1, pretty much. For the first year. Then I got into to no death running. When I got into no death running, then what I did was I started playing Dark Souls 2. And I played Dark Souls 2 for a straight year. And I did... I've done 90 no death runs in Dark Souls 2. I don't think there's anybody on the planet but me that's done that. That was a fun game, yeah, I agree. Default question. I mean, I don't even, I think it isn't even that because half of it is like them just trolling like a motherfucker. That's what it is. Half of it is is a legit question and that's why I have trouble discerning on who's being fucking honest and who's just being a prick. 
half the time because you never know. You never really know because, like, the dude that comes in says, I don't know anything about these games. And then you, you go to their Facebook and they have a Twitch fucking stream of them playing this game and trying to do the same exact run you're fucking doing. And they can't do it. And they're just being stupid about it and just trying to be annoying. That's why it's fucking temperamental and fucking stupid. Half the time when that shit happens because it fucking happens all the damn time. So how the fuck am I supposed to know who's actually being legitly honest and who's not fucking just pulling my goddamn chain? You know what I mean? It's like, who do you really know is actually fucking honest in chat? You really don't because a lot of people have fucking birders anyways, right? And it's like, am I supposed to be nice to every person even though they're being a dipshit? I highly doubt that's the case because I don't want to be. I have, a, I have every right to be an asshole to people being assholes to me. That's just how that works. Thymesia, I played and it wasn't good and people saw me not want to play it because it was terrible. You know what I mean? But like, Wu Wugong, uh, what is it? Wulong, Fallen Dynasty, I played that nobody wanted to watch me play. Alright? And like, Mortal Shell, I mean, it's boring. I played it. I went through the game, it's just fucking boring and there's no reason for me to ever play it again. You can see how it can be frustrating, especially when you have 350 people ask you the same motherfucking question or make the same motherfucking comment, you know what I mean? God damn it, really? Fuck this guy. Here, eat this. Yeah, have this, dude. Have this for brunch. Really, dude? Here, have this. Enjoy. Alright, that fucking dude's dead. <laughs> Igor, you already know the deal with that. You don't even need to ask me that. And the other bullshit, the other the other lying fucking bullshit that some people do in chat. What game is this? You know what motherfucking game this is. Don't give me that. What game is, dude? This game is only one of the most popular games ever made. You're really gonna ask me what game this is? You know what game? You came in here just to just to ask that fucking question because you already know what game it is. The fuck is wrong with you? It's it's the same shit like when fucking. When somebody's at Subway and you're like, hey, what do you serve here? What do you, what is it you guys, what do you guys serve here at Subway? Do you serve pizza? Do, do you serve, uh, hey, do you guys serve hamburgers here? I mean, really, bro? You're really going to come in and try to figure out what, what kind of food they have at Subway, motherfucker. It says sandwiches on the front motherfucking door. I've been doing this shit for five years. Have I been playing Call of Duty for five years? Have I been playing fucking Fortnite for five years? What have I been playing for five years? You know what this shit is. You know why you come in here. You're a fucking piece of shit. That's why. Don't ask me that motherfucking question. Because I'm not going to fucking answer it.
or the tutorials, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be done with talking about this shit soon. Don't ask me for a motherfucking tutorial. There is something called Google, motherfucker. Learn how to type Google in your goddamn search engine, motherfucker, or your search bar. Find it out yourself. Go to YouTube. There's a dude named Fighting Cowboy makes all that shit. Fight, find that motherfucker. Find him. I'm not here to do that shit for you. I'm not. If you don't understand the program, you do not belong here. And if you don't want to hang around, if you like the vibe and you want to stick around, cool. No, that's, that's fine. I have no problem with that. But if you don't know what's going on here, you don't need to be here. I don't need to explain to you why you're, why you're here. I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to be like, oh, I'm not, you know, everybody's best friend that comes into stream. And I'm not trying to be like every other streamer trying to make money off of fucking people just because I don't know how to be genuine. I'm not going to be one of those people. Legitimately, I'm not. Go find fucking any of those dudes, man. Go watch PewDiePie play or some shit. I don't give a fuck, but leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm just saying, man. It's true, though. You know what I mean? And I'm not lying to you when I say this shit. That's why it's funny. <laughs> Go to hell, Sturm. <laughs> what run did did you did you run to the store in some freezing win winter? Cause that sounds worse than whatever I'm doing, Sean. Half of the reason why you watch me stream is because of the commentary. I mean, it's just, it's common sense, man. I don't understand these people. I don't understand. Four, four miles, 800 feet elevation climbing ice, dude. That sounds like a rough time. GG, buddy. I just don't get, like, I don't understand. Like, it, even if you're, even if it's not your fault, I'm sorry if I'm being rude to you, okay? I really am, but... How the fuck do you own a house? How do you have a goddamn car? How do you finance shit in your life if you don't know what fucking, like, they serve at Subway, bro? How the fuck do you live as a person on this planet and you don't know what they serve at Subway or you don't know... You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but... I will stand in line at like fucking Starbucks, okay? And somebody's like, okay, so what's in this drink? What's in that drink? I'm like, motherfucker, just order that shit. Just fucking order something, dude. Let me get the fuck out of here. Why, why the fuck? How do you have all this shit in your life if you don't even know what ingredients go into a fucking drink? If you don't know what kind of fucking sandwich you want? If you don't know what you're gonna order at fucking 
Burger King. You know what I mean? Like, how the fuck? How? How do you live your life? How? I feel like, yeah, no, yeah, you know what I mean? If you've worked in the service industry, you fucking know, bro. You already know what I'm talking about. It doesn't make any logical sense at all. Dude's like a fucking professional, like a doctor or a lawyer or some shit. Comes in, do you guys serve fucking tacos here? Like, no, motherfucker. It's Subway. Why would we serve tacos at Subway, motherfucker? Why? Why? What kind of crack are you smoking, dude? You have a crayon lodged in your motherfucking brain, bro? Like, for real. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was definitely a Simpsons reference, yeah. No rectal dysfunction. <laughs> the best fried chicken, <laughs> Asshole. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm just done. I just don't. I don't understand. And then like the trolling, man. I mean, the trolling is stupid. I mean, it's gotten worse, right? Like, I don't mean like there's a bunch of people trolling and it's just it's bad. You shouldn't do it. Like, I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is why is it so terrible? Like, I've seen trolls online that get it. You know, they do the thing. They get down. You know what I mean? But then I see trolls that come into my chat and they're like, well, the next boss is going to ruin you. Like, that's all you got? That's that's the best troll you got. For real. After five years of me fucking doing this shit. And I've been through some shit with people. That's the best troll. That you got. Is, oh, uh, 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 the next boss is going to ruin you. He's going to destroy you. That's the best one you got. You know what I mean? That's the best troll you got. You came you came onto somebody's stream and that's what you have. That's it. Yes, it's declined. There's no good trolling anymore. Not even offensively. Like it's just whack, bro. It's just whack. Oh, you're gay. How do I block you? That guy? Yeah. I want to lay with your wife. And then I told him he could cuddle with me. And then he asked me, how do I block you? I remember that guy, yeah. That guy's dumb. I'm just ranting, bro. Don't worry. Nothing bad happened, Richie. Take that, yeah. I was like, come on, man. That's the best you got? And then, of course, then you got those dudes that use that, uh... They try to gaslight you into an argument. Those guys are, like, the lamest fucking trolls there are. Because it never works. Unless you're stupid. Why are you getting so mad about it, then? Why, why are you... Why are you act and the thing is, if you've ever seen me deal with a dude that's being a piece of shit on purpose, trying to gaslight my ass, what do I do? I stay fucking calm the whole damn time. And I'm just like, you need to get the fuck out of here, bro. It's a fucking waste of my time just to do that. At least bring something fucking spicy, bro. 
There's not that is not spicy. That is lame as shit. That is the same as fucking erectile dysfunction as a troll, in my opinion. That is troll erectile dysfunction. That is not spicy, bro. For real, like, what is wrong with you? Why are you getting so upset that I didn't mean to make you mad? It's like, that's the whole fucking purpose of you being here, motherfucker. Why don't you just admit it? Just admit that's why you came, bitch. At least I'd respect you for it. You didn't make me mad. You're just stupid, you know? Gotta get out of your mama's basement and stop jerking off thinking about the daddy that left you for a carton of cigarettes and never came back. It's not my fault you need a hug and I can't give it to you. Your mom's probably dead anyways. You, you gotta move out of her basement and stop jerking off into that sock you call a girlfriend, you stupid piece of shit. And put a real motherfucking profile picture. Stop with the goddamn fucking anime faces, you dumb fucks. I went too far. I'm sorry, guys. I'll stop. I'll stop right there. I went too far. <laughs> I went too far there. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Was that 19? Hell gaming asshole. God Godfrey, Godric, it's all the same fucking person, Jane. I don't know. My wife was laughing, Jesus. How Farmville is going? How's Har how is Farmville going, Sean? By the way, speaking of Farmville, <laughs> he was ordering a taco in some way. A fucking idiot, that's who.
Okay. We've made it. Finally. Finally. We've mother clucking made it. The setup is complete. Finally. I can't throw an ass throw it. Really, dude, it's like barely put together. You notice that? It's terrible. Okay. That's that's done. We're done with this part. Finally. The setup is finally done. Oh, it only took a billion years to do it, but we finally got a run going. I mean, if you want to go back on Facebook, no one's telling you not to. No, not not yet. Not till later in the game. But I've been using the uh, the Ruined Great Sword lately instead of the Falling Star Beast jaw, which I think I like better than the Falling Star Beast jaw because it, it hits harder. It does hit harder in general, in my opinion. All right, we're ready. We're ready for setup. Uh, I'm gonna grab the maps here real quick, and there. And then I might have to get off for a while. But we will be back tonight with just running bosses through. We're going to just run, 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 run through. We're going to go, of course, through here, through here, through here, like the huge, basically. I'm going to grab maps first, though. So we have a setup. Took three hours and five minutes to do it. The setup is done, at least. I'm just going to grab the map so I don't have to grab them later. But I mean, the thing is, you gotta understand. You guys gotta look for the stream tonight, and we're we've been hurting on numbers because Facebook changed the algorithm again. So, if you're not getting the notification, make sure you're in broadcast, just in case, because you might see it in broadcast because you might not see it on just the notifications. But starting tomorrow, I'll be streaming on Kick as well as Facebook and YouTube all at once. And then probably on Friday, I'll start TikTok as well. So if you have any of those platforms, it's more than well, you're more than welcome to, to follow me on there as well. But yeah, nine nine p.m. to be safe. Just look for me nine p.m. If you if you're not seeing me, then. You know what I mean? At least drop in and say hi and bye at least because the fucking numbers on Facebook have been trash lately because they fucked up algorithm because of the metaverse. That's why because they're doing the metaverse thing now. Before it was reels that that really fucked everything up when they went into reels. Now it's fucking metaverse. We got to see you on metaverse. You want to connect with other content creators on metaverse. Should give you notifications. Yeah, they will. The Metaverse. I don't want to fucking stream on Metaverse, dude. I ain't streaming Metaverse shit. Fuck that. Unless you're going to give me a BJ robot boy, I'm not going to do it. I'm just saying. Unless it's porn. Are you addicted to pornography? Sean? Same name as it is everywhere, Richie. Forlorn Night Gaming, bro. Just have to look up Forlorn Night Gaming and you'll find me. Alright, when we get back, then we'll finish all the harder parts first before we start running through bosses. We gotta do that tower first. Lyernia Tower first. And then 
we should be able to go run through fucking Betaverse, yeah. The addiction is a strong word. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself over here. We're gonna start running bosses again tonight. Hopefully, we can get to 80 plus t tonight. That'd be nice. I really I really am fucking mad that we fucked up the run earlier because we'd basically be done with the run by now. So, I'll see you guys tonight if you're on, and I'll see you tomorrow if I don't. So, have a good one. See you later. Welcome back You you little little babies in the nighttime welcome back Children of the nocturne Parker welcome to the stramboli What's up Steven? What's up Willis? Welcome back What's up? What's up guys? Welcome back boys Welcome back if you guys could share the stream, like, drop a like. If you ain't following, follow, baby. Please. Please follow, baby. Gotta help the help help me out, baby. Help me out. Help the ray out. Gotta help the Ray out. Also, I'm gonna post this in broadcast. Please share the stream, guys. Please, 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 if you can, share the stream. I'll post it in broadcast. Don't get mad. What's up, Alex? Welcome. Thank you for that, James. I'm just drinking my coffee right now, guys. Welcome. What's up, Michael? How you doing, baby? Welcome. How's everybody's nighttime, 9 p.m. streaming? Mountain Standard Time, boys. Yeehaw, buckaroos. Welcome to the stream, baby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, this dude is just like far away. Sometimes he's like super close, sometimes he's like really far away. What's up, Jesse? Welcome. If you guys are just tuning in, this is all bosses, no death run of Elden Ring, which is kind of ridiculous because there's a lot of bosses in this game. I hope you're having a pleasant night. I hope it's going well. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. So late. What's up, Bo? Welcome. Foosball game. Nobody watches no foosball games, boy. What you think this is? This ain't the Wada boy. Depends on the run. Fastest time is three hours. I think without glitches. Professional foosball. Professional foosball. Let's 
foosball's the it is the devil though. What's up, what's up, Sean? Welcome. Boop. Such a thing, Willis. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this because I will use these. I know myself so well. Ball, baby. He has the Browns. Are you talking about pooping? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't watch the foosball. I saw that the Cowboys lost. That was pretty much all I know. And they were the wild card. I haven't watched football like in like years at all. Unfortunately, it's been like four years, three years, something like that since I watched football. But then again, I'm not the type that would watch football, if that makes sense. Oh, we didn't get arrows. We need arrows. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Michael, it's so mean, but it's funny. I know it's mean to, like, laugh at the misfortune of a, a team, but... I don't like the Cowboys. Who was your team? Well, it was the Raiders. The Raiders never really won, except for, like, in the 80s. It was the Raiders, but it's because I'm from California, bro. That's why. But now they're in Vegas, so I really don't give a fuck. What's up, Ash? Welcome. What's up, Dwayne? Welcome back. Don't really care. Food ball? You want some food ball, boy? Oh, this dude's gonna start doing his flying around shit. Look at this guy. I don't even know what that is, bro. <laughs> what is that move, bro? I don't even know what that move is. I, re I really don't understand that move. Ah, dude, that hurts. That move, I don't understand at all, dude. There's a lot of factors of why the Raiders weren't good, though. It's not just because of the QB situation. It has to do with the financial situation. It has to do... There's a lot of reasons why the Raiders haven't been good for a very long time, dude. Of course, pre-Vegas pre Raiders is what I'm talking about. But I haven't watched the Raiders in a long time either, so... Thirteen hundred days! Yeehaw! Yeah, it's true. Terry Bradshaw had some pretty good shit going on. The all man stuff too is good. We Grove Sergeant Cave, this isn't the right did I not even rest at the damn grace? Did, I didn't even rest at the grace. What a loser. What a loser! Yeah, that's exactly why I don't 
don't support them anymore. The other part of it, too, is that I don't... I used to live in Vegas, too, like, so I went from living in L.A. to... I, so I started off living in Arizona, I went to living in L.A., then I went to living in Vegas. Then I went li back to living in Arizona. And one thing I can say is that I fucking hate Vegas with a passion. That place sucks. Vegas is not a cool place. I had some cool times there, but like after like two weeks, I did not want to be there anymore. So fuck Vegas. Like hard fuck Vegas. I do not like Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, Vegas is not a cool place to live. You know what I mean? It's really not. You got the blood loss off, Jesus, sir. What's up, Jeremy? Welcome. Insanely different. I mean, the Vegas is a hard place to live. It's really difficult to live there. Like, you have to be a certain type of person to live there. Not a lot of people that actually live there live there. Like, most of it is, like, people passing through. There's no real residents of Vegas aside from the people that work in the service industry, basically. Everyone else is just passing through the shit, you know what I mean? No, this isn't 70s porno music at all, actually. You want to hear 70s porno music? Play some seventies porn music for you. A relaxed ass is okay, clap. Okay. There you go. There's seventy por seventies seventies porno music for you since you're talking about seventies porno music. <laughs> Alex. 
There you go. How can people paint it in the set? It was alright. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that wanted to hear this. Here's another one for you. This, this is more the speed I think y'all are looking for. Right? It's the kind of porno music you're all looking for. This is the kind your, your family used to fuck to back in the day, baby. Your mommy and daddy made love to this song. This one's dedicated to your mommy and daddy making you in the bedroom, baby. Oh, yeah. Late night with Forlorn Night, baby. I think I was conceived of this track. It feels like we're in a, a 70s car chase movie all of a sudden. Now oh, you gotta have the breakdown, the peaceful breakdown. The peaceful breakdown, here it comes. I think it's actually 25 bosses. All right, so this definitely sounds really familiar. But we're not listening to the rest of that. It might get us in trouble. No, I never have. Should I watch it at two times speed, dude? Would that be interesting? <laughs> Jesse, yeah. Don't ask that question, Mark. You don't want to know. Better not to know, all right? Just hush your angel lips, my friend. Where the fuck? So this isn't really porno music. I'm just going to put that right there. Turn it down a little bit. I need music to operate, man. I'm sorry. I can't not have music to operate to. Like, the thing you gotta understand is that the music in this game isn't bad. It's just not good. 
for me. This is like more softcore Skinamax porno. That's what this is like. More like softcore Skinamax 90s type porn music. Real 687. You remember that shit? Real sex? Yeah, that was a thing. What's up, Justin? Welcome. why I know how to buff my character because it's my first playthrough. Oops. Sweet, I'm stuck. Wait, thanks. You finally made it to Dragonlight Castle, nice. Kingman, Arizona, nice dude. That's really far away from me though, but it's a nice area. I like Kingman, man. That's a cool place. It's really chill out there. It's really chill out there, so hopefully you'll have a good time. Cooking a chipotle? Okay, cool. I had a friend that cooked a chipotle. <laughs> I heard it's pretty chill. It's not too bad. So it should be pretty fun. Looks like chewing gum someone spit out and then stretched. What the fuck are you talking about? Dirty boys. Y'all are dirty. Y'all some dirty boys. World's largest trailer park? I have heard that too, dude. Yeah.
Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to? Okay, that's fair. Burrito rolling is a skill. Tell that to the people that roll my burritos at Chipotle because most of them suck. But I am critical because I am Mexicano, so I mean, there is that. Could you stop? Really, bro? You had to fuck it up, didn't you? What's up? Welcome, man. Welcome, Quinn. How you doing, buddy? Put it in the wrong fucking slot. Well, duh. Let's do this again. Looks like it came from Arby's with all the meat. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Debbie did Dallas. Jesus. You guys are so weird. Y'all some weirdos. Uh, where am I going? I gotta go this way.
Uh, that's that's not the right question to ask, but it's a question nonetheless. I think that depends on what you like more. What do you mean by which is better? You mean you mean better for somebody starting out in the franchise or what? Didn't hit him once. Dude, look at this goat wants the smoke, bro. Look at that shit. Jesus. Goat wanted the smoke, dude. He did not give a fuck. I mean, if, the thing is, it depends on what you care more about. Understanding the, the game as a whole, the, go, the game series as a whole, or just an overall enriching experience. Because if, I, if you were going to start from the beginning, I would say start from the beginning. Start from Demon Souls. Work your way down. It, it, in my opinion, that will give you the tools you need to beat the rest of the games. But I think to understand the actual story, the design, like just the inherent flow of the games, you should start at Demon Souls. It doesn't matter if one's easier than the other. Demon Souls, I think, is where you need to you need to start if you can start anywhere. And specifically when I say this, I mean Demon Souls on PS3. Demon Souls, not remake Demon Souls. But if all you got is the remake, then play the remake. You know what I mean? It'll give you appreciation for the, the later titles, in my opinion. Because there's a lot of people that get stuck up from playing like their version of their first Souls game and they get in this mentality. And it's not always the case. I know this. So don't don't say that I'm saying with every case it's the same because it's not. But people get in this mode where they play one that's later and then they end up having this attitude problem with the, the earlier games because of that. So what I would suggest, like I said, is starting from the very beginning, starting in Demon Souls. I started at Dark Souls 1 in 2011. And I can honestly say I wish I would have started with Demon Souls. You know what I mean? That's why I said just just try it out, Jeremy. It wouldn't hurt to try out Demon Souls. You know what I mean? Just say. It's probably one of the better things to do. If you're going to go for an enriching experience that will allow you to basically, you know, respect the source material at the same time. I would strongly suggest going for Demon Souls. The other games are just as good, in my opinion. It's just... It has a lot to do with your psyche, kind of, and how it's affected by whatever you play. So...
Thanks for that, Sturm. Yeah, that's what I've been told. I don't know if I believe that, but Sturm has been has told me a lot of the same. People have told me the same thing, so... Hopefully that's the case. You, you gather a lot of information from watching these videos, hopefully, but... Lord only knows if that's the case. I could be wrong. What's up, Jane? Welcome. Jane's here. The good luck charm is here, guys. Say hi to Mama Jane. Disney's a jungle book? Nice. The jungle book. Well, let me do this. The Grimace is blue. <laughs> it's yeah, she kind of does look like Grimace is blue. I do agree. No, honestly, honestly, casting in, in Demon Souls is super, probably the most powerful casting you can do in a game. Like, it's the most broken in Demon Souls. So, I mean, honestly, I think you'd benefit from playing Demon Souls a lot. At least in my opinion, I think so. You know what I mean? What's up, Mike? Welcome. How you doing, buddy?
I mean, you just take your time with it, man. You should be fine. Don't get impatient. Just take your time. You know what I mean? Rome wasn't built in an egg, as uh, Chucky Finster once said to me through the Rugrats television show. What's up, Logan? Welcome. Got back into Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's pretty fun, man. It's a fun little game. Oh, you survived? What? Dork. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Still is your spirit ammo? When you're dead, you can't progress. Yeah, because mine are mostly focused on no death runs. That's the reason why. I'm not a speedrunner. I focus specifically on long distance permadeath. Because there are people that focus specifically in speed, but I mean, that's just not what I do. You know what I mean? But I think, like, it, I'm playing the game as pure as possible, basically. So, I would probably have more to benefit than a speedrunner when you're watching the video because you'd actually be able to see how to do certain things or set up certain things in order to make them work. With speedrunners, you, if you don't have the skill set, you probably won't understand what's happening. No, I don't. I don't dislike speedruns. I actually quite respect speedrunners per se. I just—it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I don't do them. I'm not interested in doing them. The reason why we're hurrying so fast through this is because there's, there's, we're doing all bosses, all encounters, no death run, which means that we have like a total of 200 bosses to do. Which means the faster that I kill each boss, the faster we can actually get to the end of the game. So that's kind of the thing. Like, if we didn't have so many bosses, I would chill out a little bit, but... Thanks for the GG. Thank you so much. But like I said, dude, play some freaking Demon Souls, dude. Just experiment. Enjoy. You know what I mean? Don't take it too seriously. If you can't do something really quickly and you don't know how to do something, you can always ask. I mean, just relax and just try to enjoy the game, dude. No pressure, you know what I mean? Try not to pressure yourself. It's a big one. Don't pressure yourself.
Toon looks amazing buffed. Yeah, I agree. This song is whack, bro. See, I'm using something different. It's called uh, Stream Tunes, and I'm not sure if I'm feeling it, honestly. But it's supposed to be safe for YouTube use. You know, one of those things. I mean, you gotta understand that there's a group of people, Quinn, be behind a lot of these people. It's not one person figuring it out. There's there that does happen. It, it does happen in the community, but it's not something that inherently happens a lot. That's why a lot of skips get named after certain people because of that reason. But a lot of times, what'll happen is a speedrunner will have data miners working with them, and they'll work in groups together. And that's why there's a lot of camaraderie in the, the speedrun community because of that. So it's it's a it's a group effort to find a lot of stuff in the game. You know what I mean? Safe for YouTube, yeah, safe for YouTube. more manageable yeah that's why they have groups like discord servers where they can chat and discuss and like display you know what i mean lots of different things that's why a lot of like the hitless runners too they end up having people that run a program that shows the exact hit boxes see i'm one of those people that doesn't do that because i don't really play well with other people but whatever even here on facebook like i'll see like a post and it'll be like from a fucking souls person posting and they'll like show all these other pages they won't show anything to do with mine which means that i'm a lone wolf and i'm okay with that but it's like well whatever who cares i don't care i'm better by myself anyways or with my group only same with the company company of champions thing for hit list runs like, I don't really chat with any of those kids from Twitch. They are, but it's not as bad. They won't, like, block your audio or anything. They just won't give you money for it. Molly Wop. It's one way to put it.
Dooby 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 doo. Dude, I see all this stuff about Lords of the Fallen, and like, come back and play Lords of the Fallen. Come back and play Lords of the Fallen. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't need to play Lords of the Fallen anymore. <clears throat> after last time, man, after that stupid ass tournament they tried to pull, dude, fuck that. We're not doing that. You shit. No, it's not that it was toxic or anything. You gotta understand what it meant. So I gotta explain this to some people, and I've, I've explained it before, but I guess I'll explain it again. You gotta understand what the tournament was, okay? It's not a hitless tournament, it's the least amount of hits possible, which is more like a hitless tournament, but it's not a hitless tournament. You didn't have to do the game hitlessly, number one. Number two, what it is is that they wanted you to play the game. That's what it was. Is they wanted you as a streamer because most hitless runners have a community. Number number two, okay? They have it. They have a community. I have a community of over seventy five thousand followers. All right. Think about it this way, okay? They pay a lot for advertising, okay? So what happens is that they decide to throw this thing out here and people like me or like, you know, someone on the same level as I am when it comes to playing video games will try to do this tournament. And the whole time that they're doing this, you're going to be playing and promoting their video game. All right. But there's no incentive to do so because you don't know if you have a chance to win. Okay. The rules were crazy because they were kind of like they weren't really well thought out. Let's put it that way. So it ends up being free promotion for them when I get nothing in turn. You see what I'm saying? So what would be the point of me doing the tournament? It's just for a way for them to get free advertisement to other streaming communities without having to actually pay for it. And unless they're willing to partner with said fucking influencers, what's the point of doing the run in the first place? See what I'm saying? So to me, it was just a plight for them to actually make free money. Without having to do that much. And it wasn't even 5k that you were going to win the pot. It was 5k split three ways. So it was really like, I think the top prize was like 20 something. So it really wasn't worth it in the long run. For me at least. Especially when we're the ones that build up this community, we're the ones that set everything up, and we're the ones that kind of, uh, you know what I mean? We're the we're the ones that made this community. I'm the one that made this community. I'm the one who started this community. I didn't pay a red cent to get where I am. I didn't pay a red cent for 75,000 followers. I did it all by my own fucking volition, my own hard work. You know what I mean? And it seemed shady as fuck. The rules weren't clear. And the thing is, how was I supposed to know whether or not they'd already just not picked their buddy to win the fucking thing in the first place? So, I mean, there's that, too, as well. You know what I mean? So, I'm not doing any. I'm not going to mess around with any of that, basically. It's a waste of my time.
It kind of reminds me of like Monopoly, the McDonald's game where that dude was like secretly letting his friends win the prizes. It's what it it's what it felt like. It didn't feel legit to me. Such a yeah, it was a trap, yeah, big time. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a fucking. It, it just feels like a scam, bro. That's why I didn't fucking do that. It's like, I'm not even gonna uh, fucking attempt to get into it. I could have done it, though. I had a pretty good. I did all the bosses hit list in it already, though. You know what I mean? But it's just not worth it, in my opinion. If it was gonna take time away from the. the, uh, December no death run, basically, there was no point. You know what I mean? In doing it, it would have been a waste of my fucking effort and time, so I didn't want to spend time doing that. So I just didn't do it. Yeah, it wasn't my thing, yeah. That's what I was saying. It just seemed shady from Jump 2, though. You know what I mean?
Millennia, John. It was literally the last boss before the last bosses. I was almost done with the run last time. I only had Millennia, uh, Godfrey, and Elden Beast left. Okay. Finish the castle and the uh, what is it? The graveyard. Challenging all bosses or no walk, no roll, no run. Sub Junior, welcome is harder. This is just more tedious. I mean, it's not more tedious. It's just different. At least you can move in this game, in this in this run. The other one you couldn't move in at all, basically, which made it pretty rough. Let's upgrade the bow real quick, just so we can one-shot the birds. Because not one-shotting the birds is going to suck. Like 40, maybe longer than 40 hours, something like that. It was pretty rough, dude. That was a rough ass run, dude. That was a pretty terrible one. But I, I that was that was the type of run I didn't know if I was gonna finish that run or not. That one in the four times bosses, four times enemies run. I was kind of unsure of whether or not I was gonna finish the actual run. There's only a few runs I can actually say where that was a thing. You know what I mean?
That was one of those runs where I didn't I wasn't sure if I was gonna finish it or not. <sighs> yeah, no horse made that run just far worse than it should have been. It was very tedious, very painstaking. Not being able to dodge out of bosses when they're fucking like trying to hit you, that was rough. You know what I mean? That's pretty it was a pretty bad run. That was a pretty terrible one. I've done that run, Michael. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty easy. No horse is better. Especially when you can't walk. I'm telling you right now, dude. No walking, no horse, no jump, no roll is fucking terrible. It is a terrible run. It is nightmare fuel, bro. I don't ever want to do it again. But I will be doing six times bosses soon. Six times bosses and enemies. So six of each enemy, six of each boss is all at once. Because I did four of each. You played DS3? I have over 40 no death runs in DS3, including all bosses no death run in DS3. I've done like at least 15 level ones in uh, DS3. So yes, I've played DS3. Lots of DS3. I have a total of 486 no death runs across the Soulsborne series. No, I'm not dropping items. I'm doing a no death run right now. So, it's not going to happen anytime soon, dude. Maybe you can ask someone else to do it. I mean, I think that's a matter of opinion there, buddy. Are you good, Grula? I mean, why are you asking me? Hey guys, in chat, am I good at this game? What do you guys think? Am I good at PvP and am, am I good at this game? What's your opinion? What's up, Jade? Welcome. Let's see. So I think that's all of them except for Stranded Graveyard, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, you're talking me up too much, boy. No, I'm actually really terrible at PvP. I've never done it before. I'm really bad at it, bro. Yeah, I, can't, I don't know how to fight to save my life. I probably couldn't beat anybody in a duel, bro. Honestly, I'm pretty terrible at it.
<laughs> Logan, Logan, I'm not saying I'm full of shit, but Logan, I don't have to say anything else. PP versus PP, I can win. I guarantee it. Especially when we're talking about docking. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Arizona State docking champion, yeah. Four years in a row, bro. Four years in a row. Four mother clucking years, bro. Do not research the term. Ray's being silly. No, I'm not. I'm being honest. I'm the docking champion of Arizona. <laughs> He's the reason I moved to Arizona so I could dethrone the champ. This guy. You can't dethrone me, sir. How dare you. Okay, so that's Limp Grave and Liurnia completely done, except for Boat Guy. So let's kill Boat Guy real quick. Boat Guy's the last dude in the area. And then we'll move on to Limp Grave. I mean, to uh, Liurnia. Pulled the shit he did last time. There he is. All right, Limb Graves done.
<laughs> Dr. Disrespect of docking. Soaking? Oh no, we're not talking about soaking, son. We ain't talking about no soaking, son. What about sex gators? We can talk about sex gators. Let's talk about sex gators instead. No docking without a permit. <laughs> <laughs> What doesn't count? Soaking doesn't count? Is that what you're talking about? What's up, Shad? Welcome. Alabama Hot Pockets? I don't even know. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Space docking? Oh. Oh, because it doesn't count. Yeah, that's like if you if you you do it in the butt, it's not considered losing your virginity. It's kind of the same shit. That's what some people say. It's like no, it's still fucking sex, dude. Sorry. Pumps are, it's, it's because it's pumps that are sinful? <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever you say, buttercup. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> What's up, Kenny? Welcome. Kill him with damage, Sean. No, actually, hammers are really good. Hammers stu will, will do enough damage, stun damage, and, you know, cause the crits to happen. Actually, the mace is pretty good against Elden Beast, believe it or not, with charged attacks. It's pretty damn good. I'd say hammers are your best bet for that fight. Or fist weapons, one or the other. But like the balls, like the iron balls are pretty damn good. They stagger pretty hardcore. Charged R2 is mostly, man. That's what's going to win the fight. I'm just going to say that. Unless you use, uh, what is it, Black Flame Tornado, which is pretty good, too. So, like, you could just stun lock him and then use Black Flame tor Tornado. Or you can use Pest Strings. Pest Strings works pretty well, too. Pest Strings, though, I mean, you have to have a lot of mana for it. So, I think it just depends, basically.
Pest strings, though, will eat it alive, though, man. Like, destroy Elden Beast. But the thing is, is you gotta understand it won't work for Radigan so much. Radigan will just look at you like you're fucking stupid. So, hammers work really good. Jump attacks, charged attacks. Red Flame of the Red Mains used to be really good. Now it's trash, basically. Fifteen arrows. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Hopefully it is. We'll see. I can't even report this guy because he's, uh, I think he's already reported. Let me reload chat. That guy sucks at trolling, bro. Yeah, it's pretty whack. <laughs> He's pretty lame. It's like, come on, dude, do a little, try a little harder than that. Just saying Trump in chat doesn't really fucking do shit, bro. You get just banned for no reason, basically. All right, let's see. Where am I going? Turn around. It's the right way. No, the other way. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, perfect. I can't see shit out here at night, man. I really can't. It's like there's nothing here. You know what I mean? He broke you with his mind tricks. We're not even playing bridge term. That's funny as shit, dude. Did I add a boss on for the last one? I can't remember. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you changed my mind. <laughs> what a dumbass.
Why can't I get a troll that fucking hits on me? I mean, come on. That'd be nice, you know what I mean? What's up, Leaf? Welcome. Oh, you bitch ass. Ow. Thank you. Is that a blasphemous blade in your pocket or are you happy just happy to see me? No shit. <laughs> you just missed 20 minutes of a docking and so I mean if we're talking about docking and soaking in chat, spouting out Trump isn't gonna do shit, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying this right now. It, it's not gonna affect any any fucking thing at all. Quite literally. Dave Lincoln. <laughs> the Cliff Bottom Catacombs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Docking in sex gators? Yeah, dude, we talk about sex gators all the time. The toothless death roll, you know? Come on, buddy. Just stick your sausage right down, down in the center, you know? Just let it roll you to death, you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm, baby. Make you squeal like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Dude, this motherfucker always hits me every motherfucking time. Always! Oh, that douchebag, I always forget he's right there. I don't know why I forget he's there, but I always forget that motherfucker's there. You need to get good. Go to hell, sir. You need to get good, mother clucker.
Alright, we gotta go here. I hate going this way, though. It's annoying to go this way. I'm gonna make it daylight, though, because seeing out here with the fog it sucks. It does. I know some people... I know some people that love Arby's, but I don't eat Arby's. For obvious reasons, but still. You gotta think about that, that giant roast beef sandwich with the horsey sauce just dripping out of the center. Fucking fleshlights with dangerous auras, man, I'm telling you. That's what that shit is. You're making me hungry. <laughs> bronco sauce? What's bronco sauce? I've had the horsey sauce. I don't think I've ever had the bronco sauce. Bronco sauce sounds sexy as fuck, though. I like the name. You had food poisoning at Irby's 10 years ago, you never go- That's the reason why I don't go to, uh, Jack in the Box. I gave Jack in the Box fucking, like, so many chances, too, bro. Like, I- I must have gone back to Jack in the Box after my bad experiences at least, like, three times. And still just, they never satisfied me. They always made it worse. Like, the first time I had a bad experience at Jack in the Box... It was pretty terrible. I mean, there was fucking... I thought it was pubic hair in the sandwich. So, I mean, didn't want to eat there again. But I was young, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go get sodas there after fucking school in high school, right? So I'd do that. I'd go get sodas at, at the fucking jack-in-the-box after school in high school. And then... <sighs> Me and my sister used to walk up there after school, and we used to drink sodas in the fucking... Just chilling, just waiting for the bus, basically. And this one time we walked up there, and this rat ran out of fucking Jack in the Box. And I'm not talking about, a, like, a mouse. I mean a fucking rat. Ran out of Jack in the Box, all covered in grease, because you knew it was in that grease box they have back there, right? And it started looking at me. And it just kept breathing really heavy, and I was just disgusted by it. So we walked away. The next day, we came back, and the rat was still there in the same spot that it, I had seen it in, but this time it was fucking dead. Just right there. In the same spot it had come out on. <laughs> and then, uh... A week later, we came back, the rat was still there. They didn't move the rat, the rat was literally right in front of the fucking jack-in-the-box. Still there. Just dead and rotting and ants were eating his eyeballs, you know, it was fucking amazing, bro. I'm never going back to that motherfucker, I thought. And then, for some stupid reason, my ex used to love jack-in-the-box. And we had a friend that worked at Jack in the Box, and she was talking about why she quit. And she said the reason why she quit is because they ran out of lettuce, and the manager made her jump in the dumpster so that she could get the lettuce they threw away the other day. So, I'm not a fan of Jack in the Box. Let's just put it that way. They're not hungry. <laughs> yeah. 
after your second one. <laughs> yup. <laughs> True story, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck fast food in general, yeah, bro. I agree. I could tell you about my local Hardee's, but I di didn't sign a disclo no disclosure. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of shit that happens behind the walls of those places that you really shouldn't talk about. Because it'll get you in a lot of trouble for it. They have lenient policies towards docking. I mean, I don't think I'd be docking with the manager of fucking Jack in the Box. I'm a little classier than that, okay? I'm a hoe, but I ain't that much of a hoe. That's true, yeah, John, yeah. You never fuck with people, it's a bad idea. I agree. I used to work in the service industry, I totally agree with that. Don't fuck with the people that make your food, it's a bad idea. It doesn't mean anything bad will necessarily happen, though. A lot of folks that work in the service industry are really good folks. But there are a few bad apples out there, dude. And I haven't met those bad apples, they are not good people. Especially at Denny's, there were some really bad folks there. It doesn't mean all people at Denny's are bad, though. Just the dudes that I knew were bad folks there. Ah, uh, who hit me? Oh, you hit me. <laughs> I'm the man in the box Shove my nose in shit Dude, Alice in Chains is so good, bro I fucking love Alice in Chains They're so good I'm the dog that gets beat Shove my nose in grease. <laughs> uh, shit's funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, I agree, Kenny. Totally, man. Yeah. Waiting, yeah, dude. Like I said, most most people that work in the, the the service industry are good folks. Lots of them are good folks. There are a few that are just fucking terrible. Like this dude I used to know, man, and I have nothing against smoking pot, obviously. I partake in the THC myself, but this guy was a fucking notorious piece of shit, man. Like he was bad. Like he's like, I'm the manager. Like he like the first day I worked with this motherfucker. He's like, I'm the manager. And he's like, the dude wasn't even a manager, bro. And like, he was just nasty as shit, dude. He would hit on every girl, even she was like 17. Dude was never working. Never, he never did shit. Me and my boy were doing all this shit. He wasn't doing jack crap, bro, in the deli. The dude was a fucking piece of shit. He was always gone. We used to call him the trash bag. That's what we used to call him. Mr. Trash Bag. That dude was a piece of shit. He used to smoke weed right there in the fucking walk-in. During the the fucking daytime hours, motherfucker. Not only that, this dude used to sell pills across the fucking actual table. That you were fucking, like, selling deli meats. Like, in the broad daylight, this dude was selling fucking pills right there. This dude was a piece of shit, bro. Fuck that guy. And he used to steal ham, bro. 
This motherfucker used to steal ham and turkey and bring it home to his lady. From the fucking store, bro. He was a piece of sh That fucking... I fucking hate that guy. I hope he's off doing terrible things to himself. Because she was a short person? No, why is it? Dude, I can't see shit out here. What is this, California? What the fuck? See, the thing is, too, when I worked at Denny's, I didn't have, like, a job that was like, oh, you're just gonna be a waiter or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, no, I was the fucking, I was the dishwasher, dude. I was the trash dude. You know what I mean? Like, I saw all this shit go down. That was the kind of dude that, okay, so he threatened us at work. It's a true story. Because he was selling drugs, okay? Somebody was like, this dude's selling drugs. It's gonna happen. You're selling drugs in broad daylight at your work. What's gonna happen? Somebody's gonna say you're selling drugs at work. Right? This dude pulled out a knife on me. And he's like, I heard somebody spreading a rumor about me being a drug dealer. You know, and he starts sharpening the knife in front of me. And he, like, holds it up to my face and shit, you know. And then I started laughing at him. I started laughing, right? And I said, when's the last time you stabbed somebody, motherfucker? And then he just put the knife away. So then he took this 17-year-old boy in the back by the trash compactor. And he, he takes the knife to this motherfucker's throat and, like, threatens him in the back. A fucking 17 year old kid. This dude, like, is in his 40s, dude. He was in his 40s, threatening a 17 year old kid. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? And the kid was all terrified of him. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Yeah, I know, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. Imagine if that if I was that kid's dad, dude. I would have beat the living fuck out of that guy. You know what I mean? I would have just... I wouldn't have said nothing. I just would have... I just would have, you know... He just would have not made it home one day. <laughs> wouldn't have known what happened, you know? I don't know. He just never came back. Never came back to work. Never went back to his girlfriend. Yeah, man, if somebody did that to my kid, fuck that. Well, he got fired eventually, so, I mean, I'm not really worried about it, it's just... Dude was a douche. <laughs> Jeremy. Small time petty criminals start not threatening children. Sounds like the same dude that has his hat back. Dude! Dude! 
Did you did you know this fucking guy, Jesse? Holy shit. Dude, this is exactly how that guy was, bro. That's exactly how that, dude he had the baseball cap backwards. He had a really nasally voice. He was from Flint, Michigan, you know? He talked like a dude from Michigan, you know? Nothing against people from Michigan. A lot of them are really cool, but this guy wasn't cool. And he always go to the same he'd always do the same thing. Back in Michigan. Back in Michigan. It's like motherfucker, this ain't Michigan, bro. What's wrong with you? Back in Michigan. Shut the fuck up, dude. Nobody gives a fuck. Seventy dollars a dime. I'm originally from Michigan. I mean, did you know people like that or no? The Flint, Flint, Michigan one. Yeah, that was the thing too I've heard about people from Flint. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cow simulator. Ooh. That sounds like a good time. Oh, we didn't get we didn't get the thingy yet. We need to go get the thingy. They all peaked in the eighth grade. Dude, this is so right, though. You're correct, dude. You're so correct, dude. Yeah, dude. Enjoy uh, Shiv, Mike. This, that game is fun, bro. Ray's drinking. Corona's in the parking lot listening to Limp Bizkit. No, this guy was an ICP fan. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but come on. He's from Michigan. What do you expect? All I listened to was Tech 9 and ICP and Twisted, and that was it. He even had the Hatchet Man tattoo on his fucking, on his arm. On his flabby pig leg arm. He's like, I'm gonna go to the gathering this year, bro. It was crazy last time. I'm like, I don't care, bro. Shut up. It's actually where I met one of my best friends, Chris, was on that job. Me and him both hated that guy. Chris is a cool kid, though. He's way younger than me, though. Drinking fake, yo, oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> woo, woo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He even had the necklace, bro. He'd wear the fucking ICP jerseys with the necklace and the the tattoo and the backwards cap. And it's like, oh, man, bro. A lot of Kid Rock, Michigan. Yeah, there is a lot of Kid Rock in Michigan. It's true. I, I'm not saying people that listen to ICP are all like that guy, because a lot of them aren't, but that guy was like that guy. And he was not a fun time. He was he was just stupid, man. He's a bad name on the Juggalos? I agree, dude, yeah. I agree. Did he work for the Dark Carnival? No. He's probably a Dark Car Carnival reject, more than likely. They're like, fuck this guy. Let's kick his ass out. in a casket. <laughs>
See, people are shitty no matter what? Yeah. Ninjas? I don't even know what that means, bro. You're speaking, I don't, you're speaking some language I don't understand, Logan. All I know is steers and queers, boy, and believe me, I ain't seen no horns. No, I'm just kidding. Yeehaw, buckaroo. But that guy was a total douche. He wasn't. He was not fun. He was definitely a prick. Like that. Like on a whole other level. And everybody hated him. All the girls hated him. Cause like he literally would bust a fucking slap on a girl's ass randomly in fucking at work. He would grab a girl's ass. Girls like fucking young too. Like 18, 17. Like he just fucking grab a girl's ass like nothing. Like dude was a douche, man. We're like Naruto in middle school. Whoop whoop intensifies. Is docking allowed? Always. Doesn't matter where we go. Yeah, I don't know. I met a few people like that. There was another dude that I worked for at a call center. That dude was creepy. He was an older cat. I mean, he was funny until you got girls around him. Then when then it got weird. And then he got really strange. He's one of those guys. Like he's cool with the dudes, but then like when he's with girls, you know what I mean? Then he was like creepy. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. Turn into a predator? Yeah, big time. Chris Hansen would walk out and be like, "Hey, could you sit down a moment? Do you have a do you have a minute?" Chris Hansen comes out. He's got a clipboard. The Jack in the Box guy is the leader of the Juggalos. Oh, free pizza. <laughs> Why did you bring the condoms in the in the the six pack? Uh and the condoms and the enemas. Uh, they were for me. For for what? <laughs> what, are you, what are you planning on doing for yourself here today, sir?
the fourth horseman of the Hanson brothers. <laughs> well, and Jay's granddad. <laughs> Reminds me of that episode. I love Boondocks. That show is funny, man. Nah, see, I call you Chris Hams Handsome, Jesus. The thing, too, is those guys that get entrapped on that show, they really don't have a good fucking rebuttal for any of that shit. Like, no, I, I didn't, she never told me her age, even though it says right there in the text messages, I'm fucking, like, 12, or whatever. It says right there, dude, that he knows how old she is, like, it, he, they're so stupid about it, it's like, dude, really? They're dumb as shit. I mean, they're stupid in the first place, because they're fucking nasty, but the other part of it is like... <sighs> what did they think was gonna happen? I mean, what did, I mean, do they really think that was going to happen? In what world would that happen? Fucking stupid, man. You know what I mean? They're dumb. They deserve everything that happens to them, really. It's like, did you just want to be on TV or what? Is that why you're here? Yeah, exactly, John. It doesn't make any fucking sense. They're so stupid. Dude, I understand completely, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm the same way. Same fucking thing, dude. That and, like, the true crime stuff really bothers me sometimes, too. So I usually don't watch it. It just depends on the type of true crime. The one that I thought was crazy, though, was this lady, like... was this lady and i don't remember what was going on this guy he worked at a limo company you know what i mean giant pencil sharpener they won't care they've had worse so they But like she, she, I guess this guy, he had benefits or whatever, and she was, she was the beneficiary of these benefits because they were government benefits or something, and they had like a, some kind of falling out. I can't remember exactly why. This lady like, she killed him. Like she, she killed him like straight out, just murdered his ass, right, so that she could collect his checks or whatever. But she, not only killed him. She cut his body in pieces while her kids were in the uh, like in the house and she was in the fucking garage. And then like the way she was gonna dispose of the body is she started cooking pieces of him in the oven. And it's like how the fuck were you planning on getting rid of this body in that case? For real? Yeah, it's true. It just, it just doesn't feel low, like it doesn't feel kosher to me though, Donato. I get what you're saying though. It's just it feels like they're exploiting exploiters. It's basically kind of the same fucking thing in my opinion. You know what I mean? People find entertainment in it not for the same reasons you would. You see what I'm saying? There are some sick individuals out there. So like the the kicks you get out of it's different than something a weirdo would get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> 
All you'd have to do is sit with your people, Jose. You wouldn't even have to do all that. Unless you were trying to, like, cause problems, and maybe. <sighs> yeah. Donato, yeah. It's just like Dr. Phil. I talked about this before. Dr. Phil's not a good person. People are like, Dr. Phil helped me with this and Dr. Phil and all this crap. But we were talking about how I think somebody told me in chat that he wasn't actually a doctor. He was full of shit. And like he would take people that were the most problematic and he would just basically make money off of their fucking shortcomings, dude. He was an asshole for the longest time because of it. Yeah, dude, that's one of my favorite episodes. Willis, that's one of my favorite episodes when the dude from Bum, Bum Fights comes out. I love that shit. That was the best. Yeah, he came out dressed like Dr. Phil with his head shaved. We should watch that. We should we should watch that. Let's watch that. I think we should. Guy dressed as Dr. Phil. Let's watch that. Yeah, yeah let's watch this. It's going to be good. Sounds like a good time. I don't know what this intro is, so I've never seen this this version of the video. So don't get weird on me, all right? Hurry up! I don't care. Hold on, that's not even loud, bro. It's really, really like low. I can barely hear it. I don't do hardcore porn, and I don't deal with death footage. We don't just sit there and give him our pocket change and say good luck. We put him to work. There was a homeless guy. We said, what would you do if we gave you some money? He said, I'd eat a raw frog. So we went to the Asian market, got a raw frog, and he ate it on the sidewalk. We paid him 20 bucks. I've made multi-millions off the Bump Fights video series. I'm not surprised at my success. It's a sick world. Stop the tape. Stop the tape. I don't want to talk to you. Why not? That's despicable. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. you go. <laughs> you if you if you think if you if you think I exploit people, every time you bring a guest on this show, you exploit them and spread whatever problems they have to the whole world. You think that's helping them? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. You can go. Uh, you know what? Who do you think you are, huh? Bye. Come on, come on. Huh? No, I'm not finished talking to you. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> but that, I, I just watched that footage, and that is absolutely despicable. I refuse to publicize that. <laughs> 
clearly could not have a serious dialogue about this ridiculous topic. I think what I saw on these screens is absolutely disgusting. I think it's horrible, and I think it is an insult to my intelligence and those of my viewers for somebody to stand up and say, I'm trying to help people by doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude is fucking crazy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> That shit was great, dude. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I can't help you with bug, man. Sorry about that. God bless the internet, yeah. No shit. <laughs> Committed to shaving his head. You really fucking did, bro. You really fucking did. <laughs> seen his on Dr. Phil. Has <laughs> seen on Dr. Phil. Jerry! Jerry, that's what I was waiting for. Because Ray's happy, yeah. That shit was funny, bro. Uh, I remember seeing that, I was like, what the fuck? That shit was crazy, dude. Hey, what's up? How's it going, Chris? Pretty good, man. Turned out pretty good. Usually there's hands right there. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> you too, real quick. Be right back.
Yeah, they do. Like, both on both sides. They show up on both sides. I see both chats, so... Shave their hands in person, ain't Dr. Phil, no shit, dude. That was like one of the best things that's ever happened on television, in my opinion. <clears throat> Dr. Phil would disagree, of course, but... Right now. <laughs> Are they going nuts for groceries? They're like, like, what is it? Uh, panic buying right now, man. Fuck, dude, your job must be hard as shit right now. Sorry to hear that, Christopher. Hopefully, it, it slows down a little bit. Got down to the teens plus some wind. Oh, I got down to the teens. <laughs> For the cowboys, here we go with that shit. Here we go with that shit. Yeah, because it's cold. People get like that during the cold, dude. Oh, come on, bro, really. I'll take it. It's worth it. It should be there, man. I don't know why you don't hear it. Damn sun should be there unless unless Streamlabs ain't working. Alright, so we got some shit still to do here. I haven't noticed it. It's still there, man. It's just, uh, maybe it's like not working right now. It could be a thing, maybe. Don't hear damn sun either. Issues traveling in the weather, I mean, can you blame your professor?
He's out of town, can't make it back. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it's not even that cold here in Southern Arizona. I know people will get mad about hearing that, but it's the truth. It's not even that cold out here. It's like the lowest it's getting is in the 40s. Like last week it was a little colder, but yeah, it's not that cold here. We got to like 60 degrees today. Respectful. Really, bro? You ass much. Peter Jackson's King Kong? Dude, I haven't played that in so many years. Alright, we got... Ringblade. Deathbird. Magma Worm. And Harry Potter School left in this area. To make it nighttime, though. That's all we got left in this area. Oh, we ha also have the stupid ass. What's it called? The Grafted Scion. Fuck that guy. That scales with strength and faith? Yes, it does. Yeah, it's definitely pretty good. What about the Lord of the Rings games, dude? You guys remember those? Those were really good. They're actually really decent. From back in the day, they were really good. I think they were really good, at least.
Where's this spot at, dude? I fucked this up, didn't I? I did fuck this up. How did I fuck this up? go this way. I can't even like use my map. There we go. Is it back here? I thought it was right here. I could be wrong. It's gotta be like back here somewhere maybe. Quit playing, dude. They were, it was a good ass game, though, man. Condemned Bloodshot 1 and 2, yeah. I, that game was creepy as fuck, dude. Condemned was a pretty creepy series, in my opinion. It's definitely not bad. This is the house. <laughs> Time for the ring blade, dude. We can't fight uh, magma worm until after we get a gravity weapon, so we're gonna wait for the magma worm and just head towards Kaled. Probably gonna stop at 80 tonight because 80 is enough, I think. I mean, I guess we could keep going. What is it? We're like two hours, three hours, almost three hours into the stream, 2 230. It's not too bad, I guess. I just, I know I start to get like annoyed at like 80 bosses. Mashed potatoes. Six to nine, baby. Keep going until 80? Okay. Yeah, dude, I agree. Mm -mm. And even some of, like, the worst publishers now were fucking amazing. Back then, dude. Like, they were quite good. You know what I mean? Back then, they were amazing. Is it safe to be hungry? You want me to talk about rats? No, I'm kidding. I'll stop. I won't do that. If you're hungry, then be hungry. Go till 100. I mean, I could try. But I get irritated around 80 bosses. I've noticed this. It's a pattern that I have. When I get to 80 bosses, I get fucking irritated.
<laughs> oh my god, Jesus, dude. Talking about a greased up rat. This guy. I don't have any. I think I used them all already. I just pop them so fast. Oh, you're talking about great runes? We haven't done Ranala yet. We haven't done Ranala. I think that's the only one that we haven't done. That's like a just a beginning boss or whatever. We don't have the rest of the remembrances. We're just working. What we do is we do area by area so I don't forget anything. Because if I go and I decide to just kill the main bosses, then I'm going to forget which bosses I've done in certain areas. So I just tend to only do area per area. So we killed we killed Rykard, we killed Radon, we killed um, Godric already. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we've killed. Farming's worse. I mean, it's worse, I think. You already know I hate farming. You don't even need to ask that question. I don't even know why you pretend to ask that question. Just like I hate taco seasoning. Those are the two fucking things I can't stand in this existence and should not exist at all on any level. Taco seasoning and farming. Supreme tune? Fuck no, it ain't. It ain't prime at all. You want to make it the best taco you've ever had? You want to know what you do? You know the easiest way to do it? And this isn't the best taco, but this is the best cheap ass fucking fast taco you can make. All right? Easy. Ground beef. Pepper. Salt. Put it in a corn tortilla. Bend it in half. Throw it in a fryer. Pull it out. There you go. Enjoy best taco you've had if you're if you eat taco seasoning try that that's all i'm gonna say it's all you need boy it's all you need in this life fried tacos up with the tacos i was talking about a basic ass taco dude people be talking about taco seasoning i'm not a fan of taco seasoning i like you know you take media you throw in the tortilla 
You know what I mean? There you go. Fuck, dude. Barbacoa in the tortilla. There you go. Some fucking crema or whatever else you're gonna throw in that bitch. You're good. You don't like cumin? Everybody likes cumin. Sean, what are you talking about? You mean cumin? Oh, okay, cumin. I don't like cumin either, bro. I call it cumin, because you cumin, boy. That's all you need, dude. Just th tacos are fucking simple, dude. They're hard to fuck up unless you really don't know what you're doing. Cumin smells like B.O. It does, though. You're not wrong. time you ever bought that stuff yeah I don't I'm it's cuz I'm dude I grew up you know eating the pure type that's why like but th the thing is too is there's different types of fucking there's different types of tacos de depending on where you're from or what part of Mexico you hail from or whatever you know what I mean but I'm not a fan of like Baja or like I'm not a big fan of Tex-Mex either I'm not gonna lie I like Sonoran Mexican food a lot Specifically, I like mariscos too, like Chihuahua mariscos and you know Guanajara. Like I like that style of food too. I'm just not a fan specifically of Ba and like Tex-Mex for whatever reason. Now that's a mystery. How is it a burrito seasoning exactly? Could you just put salsita in there and it'd be the same fucking thing? Dude, I was gonna make some chirrienos on Sunday, bro. No shit. That's cool, man, you said that. My dad got some, uh, some queso from across the border. Some fresh handmade shit, bruh. It's gonna be good. I mean, that's close enough, bro. Church of the Cuckoo. I go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and Cookie Crisps. Cookie Crisp. You know, when I was younger, I thought Cookie Crisp was a dog food. Because that stupid ass dog on the fucking commercials. Just like, what is it? Bacon? Bacon strips? Remember that? By Purina? Remember that? Bacon! 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 That shit is dog food, though, by the way. Don't eat that. Bacon!
Dude, imagine cat food tacos, bro. <laughs> You haven't tried beauty at ta tacos, bro. You need to eat that shit. If you're ever in Tucson, come to a place called Guanajara's. Not Guanajara Grill. That's a white folks joint. It's just straight up called Guanajara's, right? This place, you know, it's good because all they deal in is cash, bro. They don't take credit. They don't take checks. They just take cash, straight out cash. That's all they do is Mexicano food, straight out. And on Sundays, if you go there. You can get menudo, right? But they got menudo by the fucking pot, bro. You bring your own pot and they fill it with menudo for 20 bucks. And then they give you bond. Bond and everything you need for it. Straight out Mexicano spot, dude. The best in town. Red sauce. I mean, I think it depends on the sauce. Oaxaca cheese, bro. Yeah, Oaxaca cheese is the best, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? California, lots of great Mexican food. Didn't appreciate it. It was until my, even until my 20s. And then you miss that shit, don't you? Sour cream chicken and chiladas. That is a thing, bro. Yeah, people do that. A la verga. Está bien. Compa, está bien. <laughs> With a little bit of the cabezona. You gave it the little cabezona. What does that mean? I don't know. I think it means Arizona. I, I like the cabezona. Yeah, they're pretty good, man. If they're done right, that is. <laughs> Look at the Do you like the burro in your kuro? You mean your kulo? Yeah. That's right. Did you guys know that Coolio got his name from Blood In Blood Out? Did you guys know this? You you guys ever watch Blood If you've never seen Blood In Blood Out, you're not you're probably not Chicano. But there is a scene in Blood In Blood Out where this dude named Magic Right, he's like, you're so cool, I'm gonna call you culo. Right? What that means is, you're so cool, I'm gonna call you asshole is what it means in Spanish, right? And Coolio saw that movie thinking that it actually meant, hey, you're cool, yo. So he decided to name himself after culo. Which means, his name means asshole. True story.
cool arrow. <laughs> Generic text mix bullshit. I mean, look, at, uh, this is the, I'm just going to be controversial. I'm going to say it. it's going to be controversial. You know, I'm just going to put it out there. I've talked about it in the past. Whenever I go to, like, Chili's and I see, like, fresh Mex, you know, on the fucking menu, all right, I'm just going to say this. All right, don't get mad. But I don't see when I look in macaroni and cheese section, fresh white. Okay. When I look at mashed potatoes and country fried steak, I don't see it say fresh white people food. But when I look where there's tacos and shit, I see fresh Mex, man. I'm just going to say that straight out. It's just kind of, it's just kind of funny. I'm just going to say it's kind of funny. Y'all don't have a fresh white menu section at Chili's. You're definitely right. Yeah, no shit, I'm right. Dogs and Doritos. <laughs> what are you gonna serve me, corn dogs and Doritos? They're the steel white section. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, it could get more racist than that if you think about it long enough with other cultures, and it could say some really bad shit in there. That's why I say, like, it's just like, okay, well, we get fresh mechs. Whatever, I guess. Whatever. You think I order off the Fresh Mex menu? Fuck no, I don't. Why would I? <laughs> they serve haggis? Do yeah. There you go. That's some cultural food right there. I know what they mean is just by country. I get it. I'm just fucking around, okay? Don't take it too seriously. It's just a joke, people. You don't want potatoes? I mean, when they load it, I don't like loaded. I don't, I'm not a fan of the loaded. You know, like they put beans and rice in a burrito with like chorizo. Like, I don't understand that. I don't like that. Personally, I'm not a fan of that. But I mean, some people do like that. I don't like it. Like beans and rice are supposed to be on the side, not in the burrito, unless the, the, the burrito is beans and rice, quite literally. When it says loaded, it's just like for them not to spend extra cash, basically. 
you know what I mean, on actually filling the burrito up. That sucks, man. That's why I said, like, if, if people were to put out an actual culturally, like, serious establishment in chain form, like, people would eat that fucking shit up. Quite literally eat it up. Is he lettuce in a taco? <laughs> but what if it's a lettuce taco? What if that's what you're eating? It's just literally a lettuce taco, man. Come on. Think about it. Okay, when I see them whoop out the shells, that's when I leave. Okay? That's all I'm going to say right there. If you like the shells, okay, fine. I, I don't like the shells. I will not eat the taco shells. Not a fan of it. I'm also super picky though, like I said, so... The grass sandwich. What are we, cows? The Dorito show. I mean, like, I'm not saying that I don't like Taco Bell, but I don't consider it actual Mexican food. That's what I'm saying. I'll eat Taco Bell, but that's because I'm either really high or really drunk. And I don't mind, like, chalupas and shit, but I don't consider that actual Mexican food, obviously. If I'm drunk as fuck, I will eat me a fucking chalupa, though. I will eat the fuck out of a ch chalupa, bro. No shit. Give me a greasy ass corn tortilla, yep. Cuban food truck, I've, I have not had Cuban food ever, bro. I'm a GM at one and you hate the food, yep. See, but when you're drunk and high, you don't care. <laughs> That's what you need to remember, you don't give a fuck. You're like, oh yeah, it's time for some fucking Taco Bell, dude. It's like the worst idea I ever had, but let's do it. Good thing I'm high at work. Explain our Mexicans not Mexican. What do you mean? Our tacos not Mexican. It depends on the taco. Because the thing is, is it also depends on the region you come from. That's, those are the two things that really determine whether or not something's Mexican or not.
<laughs> Crunch Rock Shrimp Supremo. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> Jose. The Bosoleros, is that what you're talking about? Y'all know about that, right? Everybody knows that. Bosol was originally made out of human flesh. Bosole, or whatever, however you say it, depending on who you are and where you're from, was made out of human flesh at one point. And they used to have tamale festivals like all the time up there in the empire. And they had something called water tamales and they do not sound appetizing, bro. They're just straight up fucking plain tamale masa with nothing in them, boiled in fucking water. And these tamale festivals are crazy because... I don't know, you guys, do you guys know this history or no? There was a Spanish dude that came down, obviously, to observe, right? They used to have tamale festivals for, like, the gods and stuff, right? And they used to do these festivals, and there was this one festival they used to have where... People would come and they would bring tamales as an offering for, you know, the deities that they worshipped or whatever, right? And during this festival, there was a set amount of tamales that they were that were supposed to be brought. And people, well, what happened is they'd come, right? They'd come late. And if they had no tamales, they would basically not be able to eat, Okay. So what would happen is they would try to steal other people's tamales. And if they got caught stealing tamales from someone else, they would be publicly beaten with a stick and stones. <laughs> and then if they had stole, if they had tamales with them and they had stolen tamales, they would steal their tamales and they would eat them in front of them. <laughs> this is it. I'm not lying. This really fucking happened. It's a true story. It's a thing that actually used to happen back in the day. But the thing is, is that tamales back in the ancient times didn't have meat in them because the ones that introduced pork and chicken into the diets of the Aztecs were the Spanish. Which is pretty funny to think about because all of them were vegan basically until the inception of the Spaniards. Which is kind of crazy to think about, but it is a thing. And pasol, like I said, it was it was basically a soup that was originally made during the sun god worship, which the sun god was notoriously violent, and they would basically sacrifice people to the sun god, which meant that the people that were sacrificed were cut into pieces and put in a soup. That <laughs> is the same fucking soup we eat today, only instead of human parts, we put animal parts in it. Good times. <sighs> Sorry, Jane. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what I do love from Taco Bell, and you can't take this shit away from me, okay? Baja Blast, boy. Baja Blast is the fucking shit. How's your back, Jade? Sean's asking. Baja Blast is the shit. Sacrificial soup, basically. Steve's the skin and bone too. 
Did you know that there was there wasn't there was a surge though? There was a surge, Quinn. Uh, back in the turn of the century, where everybody was making tamales, bro. It was actually hot, a hot dish in America. During the the Great Depression and stuff, it kind of took off. You had factories of people making tamales, bro. Like, and I'm not kidding. Like, white folks were making them too. At one point, they were super popular, and something happened. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but it caused a decline in the popularity of tamales in America for whatever reason. I don't remember exactly what it was. But there was actually people like in fucking Vermont making tamales, dude, for a factory. Believe it or not, that was a thing. And it kind of went underground at one point. And that's why a lot of people end up selling them like they do now, like drug dealers, for whatever reason. I can't remember what the reasoning was, though. I have to reread that part of the fucking food history shit. So it's normal, man. I think tamales are just, you know, even though they're culturally belong to the, the Aztecs and the Mexicans, I don't have a problem with white folks making tamales. I, I think that's good. That's that's a good thing. People would call that cultural homogenization or whatever, but I think it's kind of neat to have people experience that because it's one of the best memories I have with my mom and my grandmother. You know what I mean? Personally, I don't think it's a bad thing. Yep, that's what my nana used to tell me, Isaiah. Literally, the same shit. Smother and butter and bacon, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Imagine a bacon fucking tamale though. I don't know how good that would be. It'd be okay, but I don't know about the flavor of the masa with the bacon, bro. It actually might not be very good. Or it might be really good. Cultural appropriation. I don't know if I call it cultural appropriation. Now, Day of the Dead, that's definitely some cultural appropriation for sure. Dia de los Muertos, that's a big one. People be doing that up lately. I saw Encanto. Now I want to. I want to have a party for Day of the Dead. That Encanto movie was just so endearing. I guess I've talked about it Encanto in, in the past. Like I don't have a problem with not Encanto. What's it called? Fucking what is it called? What is the name of it? I can't even remember the name of it. The one about the Day of the Dead. What's it called? I fucking can't even remember, bro. The movie about the Day of the Dead. Oops. What's it called? Oh, yeah, yeah. The one with the singing boy. What's it called? Coco. Yeah, Coco. There's the one. All the same shit. Doesn't matter to me. Anyways. Coco. The best part of Coco, though, is that there's La Migra. For the afterlife. I think that's the best part of Coco. You ain't got your papers, you ain't coming into the country, motherfucker. The country of the living. So realistic in that sense, dude. It's just fucking amazing. A lot of got people in my area make bean and cheese tamales, jalapeno popper tamales. I've seen someone sell brisket tamales, 40 a dozen. Fuck that, dude. You should try making fucking vegan tamales, bro. You know how much I can sell vegan tamales for? 60 a dozen, bro. 60 a dozen, bro. And you know what's funny? People will fucking buy it, bro. People will buy it for $60 a dozen and I'm not joking they will buy it
I make the mondays every year though. I don't sell them no more though, cause that's too much fucking work to sell them. Cause then they get in such high demand, man. It's not even fucking worth it. What's up, Zach? It ain't worth it. Yeah, the making food's cool, man. You know what I mean? I, I dig a lot of that stuff. Like, like I said, I don't have a problem with people learning that stuff. It's kind of cool. I mean, if you like it, you like it, bro. <laughs> you don't take the husk <laughs> You don't tell them to take the husk off. You just watch them see what happens. Cause it's funny. I'm supposed to take the husk off. Yes, boy. <sighs> the casing? Are you serious? Like a regular sausage or some shit? What the fuck? Wow, that's funny as shit. What, they put it like in a bread or something? Get it wide and don't really want to eat anything? Eat, Jane, please, eat something. Take care of yourself, please. Jesus Christ, bro. No, like my daughter, it's funny watching her eat like tacos or something because she doesn't understand. So she turns it sideways like a fucking hamburger. And I'm just smiling, looking at her, laughing because she's so cute. That shit's funny. Kill me, Mr. Tree Man. No Tree Man, watch out there, buddy. Fuck. Dude, that damage is so good, though.
extra flavor. <laughs> That's where the fiber comes from, dude, from the fucking husk, bro. Depends on who's doing them, Jose. Depends on what kind of ASMR it is, too. You mean like licking ears ASMR? Or do you mean like somebody tapping their fingernails ASMR? They're gross. I think it depends, man. Okay. I feel like my ears getting violated? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I said that. Like, I think it depends. We are gonna stop at 80 though, because I'm, I'm, I'm not in the mood anymore. I'm done. Like, I feel it. Like, it's better just to stop while you're ahead. Oh, Mok Wang? Yeah, the Mok Bang ones are not. Two AM here. Yeah, we only got two bosses left until we're done with this part of the stream. The thing is, like, I could run to a hundred, but I know that I'm just taking a chance at that point and we already have like quite a few done so it'll make the second half of this a little easier you know what i mean because of what it does to the capital i mean it's better and plus it's better for me to ca to itemize the bosses i've killed beforehand if i go section by section versus just killing the uh because i'm gonna end up in the capital anyways if i do this but i would rather do it this way because like i said if i fuck up the capital early because if i go and i kill malaketh right now let's say right i could go kill him if i if i wanted to right this second but what's gonna happen is it's gonna change the bosses in the capital and it's gonna basically destroy my ability to actually finish all the bosses. Yeah, that's and that's why I say because I'm gonna work my way up that way, and it's better for me to itemize exactly what I'm killing and how many of what I've killed, as opposed to just running through the game. So I'd rather do it this way. It's slow and tedious, and I understand it's kind of annoying even for me, obviously, because I'm the one doing it, but. Something more welcome. What's a quick and easy boss I can kill real quick? Let's do these guys, I guess. Then I can get my sword and we'll be ready for tomorrow, basically. I have Larry, I just haven't used them. 
Not yet. I'll probably use them when I upgrade them to plus 10. I haven't upgraded them to plus 10 yet. Really, this dude is like already fucking me up and I'm not even doing shit. Go over here, let's just heal up. Redo, come here. Fuck. Really? Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Because, I mean, I'm missing all these parries. I can parry this guy wonderfully all the time. Boss is really easy too. Back of the dome, man, and shit. Yep, alright, we got the sword. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here. Let me read Quinn's shit before we leave, real quick. Had a severe, severely white and naive guy that didn't eat anything besides nuggets in the unit in the army we had barbecue chicken wings at the cafeteria one day and one dude was sucking everything off the what hold on and one dude was sucking everything off the bone and nibbling on the ligaments and the fat too hey curdy why are you nibbling on the bones there's nutrients in the sinew the next week barbecue chicken wings again dude goes and sits at the, the at the other table at another table with officers biting into bones <laughs> hey pettit why are you biting the and breaking the bones oh carney you show carney showed me how to eat the wings properly are you fucking serious that's nasty as shit bro good times well on that note since we're talking gross food and stuff I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to be on probably like 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We're on 80 bosses right now. We're going to try to run through to at least 150, 160 tomorrow. Basically another 100, another another 80 bosses tomorrow. We'll try to get that done. So I love you guys. You guys are the best souls community on the internet. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Let's see. How does this work? Let's see. Oh my. Oh, perfect. Stop right there, criminal scum. All right. Soundboard is up and running, I think. What's up, Donato? What's up, Max? Welcome. Welcome, happy, what is today? Happy Tuesday, I think it is. Welcome to the stream, guys. We're still doing the all bosses, no death run. We're currently at 80 bosses. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope life is good. Welcome. 
We're at 80 bosses, like I said. That's where we left off last time. The current VOD is six hours, so we got like four hours worth. We actually cut our time down quite a bit compared to the last run, like almost two hours worth by just running like a mother clucker, bro. Like, crazy. So what's up, guys? How you doing? How's life? I'm doing good. Max, thanks for asking. Let's get this shit, baby. Yeah, no, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what's up? What's what's everybody buddy been up to doing? Um, last night I went to sleep. <laughs> That's what I did after the run. I just went to sleep. That was it. I listen. I'm listening to an audiobook though, and it's pretty spicy. It's an adult audiobook. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm like, how do you how do you become a person that writes like adult audiobooks? In my head, I'm like, how do you end up in that market? Just woke up. Jane's here, guys. Everybody give Jane a round of applause. Yeah, she's here, finally. Miss America's here. Yay for Jane. Sleep is good. It, it's overrated. What's up, Kale? Welcome, dude. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, but it's not made by an actual company, Richie. It's made by a dude that wanted to make it. That's depressing as shit. The only thing is, I hope that it actually sparks them to make it. We got the yeah, we got soundies now. <laughs> we do. We got soundies now. What's up? What's up, James? Welcome. I'm gonna pin this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we got the soundies going. But my favorite, I think, is this one. It's my favorite one. <laughs> of course you would know what that's from. <laughs> What's up, Quinn? You fucking pervert. Sorry, Ruthless, don't worry. Dicks, what does no one? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, low level invasions are pretty fun, I do agree. <laughs> What's up, Danny? How you doing, man? Welcome to YouTube, Danny. <clears throat> Let's see, what are we doing? We gotta we gotta do stuff. I don't wanna do stuff, but we gotta do stuff, unfortunately. That's how this game works. Doing things we don't wanna do. Let's see. Where are we at? Where is it at? Where where'd you go, Bart partner that you are? Dragon Barrel West. Shit. 
Hear one voice again. This one? Oh my. That one? George Takei. Took some iron vitamin K B12. Think I had to do some with it. That had something to do with it. It could be, yeah. I gank. No, that's what I like about it. You get ganked a lot, Kale, and it's pretty fun to get out of ganks. People may not understand that, though. I think getting out of ganks is probably more appealing than any kind of PvP you can do in the Souls games, in my opinion. Like, people would disagree with me. People are, like, really into duels. I really like getting out of ganks. That's, like, my favorite thing to do, bro. I agree. What's up? You always love the RuneScape in the background? I appreciate that, John. Yeah, dude. Ganks are the best, bro. It's like a puzzle, you know what I mean? Isaac! Dude, it's been a while, bro. Give, her, give Isaac a round of applause, guys. This is my PP line? No, but my, my JJB line. Isaac. What's up, Mo? Welcome, dude. I am honored by your presence, Isaac. I'm honored by your presence. Got P for Xmas, now pushing P. What? I'm in a relationship now, so I get plenty of P, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Let's see. What are we doing? Lies of PP is what you're talking about, right? Lies of P? I don't, I, you're being very cryptic, like, like fucking Son of Sam after he murdered somebody, bro. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Relationship P is the best P? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, my heater's on. Hold on, let me turn this fucker off. I wish they didn't, like, patch it, though. I mean, it really bothers me that they patched it so hard. Alright, it's time to do some horsey tricks. We're gonna go do our little best rodeo skit with the horsey. Because of the next boss. It's just annoying for no reason. Like, the boss isn't even fucking hard, dude. Like, I don't even know why they made it so hard to get to the boss. Yeah, it's kind of a cool way to customize your weapons and stuff. But they nerfed it into the dirt, like, to the point where it's no longer even the same game. Like, I, lo I loved the first version of the game, dude, like, so much. Like, it was a fucking masterpiece. They ruined it for me, though. It's not even half as difficult as it used to be. It's depressing.
Me too, Max. Yeah, they they nerfed it three times, Kale. Yeah, from the first original version of the game. Hell yeah, they nerfed the shit out of it. That's why if I play it, I'm only gonna play it first patch because it's just way more difficult, and I like it that way. Get up there, horsey! Every time you do that, I want to oh do this. Oh my! Every time. Every time we say that in chat, I want to do that. Lords of the Fall has never really been difficult, per se. But they're tr they tried they're trying to make it harder. They've tried and the thing is is they patched the game like for a long time over and over again. And I haven't played it since they pissed me off. The the people that made the game pissed me off. So I don't I haven't played it and I probably won't ever go back to it. Cause like there's really no point in trying to play a game that you're like, you know the developers are just being assholes kind of. What's up? Which one in Lies of P? Uh, that's hard to say, man. Actually, my favorite weapon is just the serpent. The what is it? The twin dragon blade is my favorite weapon in the game. And then I like the wrench too, but motivity wasn't good first patch though, but now it's pretty damn good. You know what I mean? But they kind of nerfed motivity when they made the weapons heavier for some reason. So I mean, it, I haven't played it since the last patch. I don't know what's good anymore. Not, it, the thing is, last patch was pretty terrible for me because they literally changed like the way the parrying works, and it's not as precise anymore, or as satisfying in my opinion. So I kind of just don't ever want to go back to it. But if I do play it, I will be fucking like doing first patch only. It is. It was first patch. One of the greatest games ever, bro. It's definitely still pretty good. It's just not the same masterpiece as it was. Like literally, in my opinion, it was better than even some Souls games, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, they should have done that, Kale. That would have been better. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream, Christopher. Chris. You know what I mean? They should have at least offered the option for it to be the same game, you know what I mean? Like, but no, like they just didn't do it. They're just like, oh yeah, this is the version you're getting and that's it, there's nothing else for you. It's like, 
It's messed up. But let's talk about something positive. Let's talk about positive stuff on stream. Let's not talk about negative stuff. Let's talk about fun. I don't even know what you're talking about, Wonderson. No idea what you're talking about. You're doing NG plus Liza P? Yeah. Of course I'm getting a phone call. Jesus Christ, dude. Nope, I'm not answering. Sorry. Thanks, Kiba. I appreciate it. Alright, do I have to explain this run to everybody? Because it seems like nobody knows what's going on. Y'all want me to explain this? Huh? Does, does everybody want me to... Or does... I mean... Do you guys want me to explain this run? What this is? Everybody knows what's going on, right? I was on the phone, so... See us for cooking? Okay. This is all bosses, all encounters, no death run, NG. Which means we take a fresh character and we kill all bosses, all encounters of bosses. Not just the all bosses route. Which means it's like 230 bosses without dying. In a row. From scratch. That's what this is. That's what this run is. We're currently at 83 bosses. So we run through every dungeon, every area, and kill every boss. Simple enough to understand, no dying allowed. It's just pretty basic, but that's the run. Okay, everybody know what we're doing? Everybody good? Everybody understands?
there you go. There's your explanation, baby. So somebody was saying ex excited about something. I think Isaac was talking. I couldn't read it because chat went too far down. So let's talk about positive things, guys. Beautiful things. Life is beautiful. Life is grand. And it's just ha happiness holding your hand. I would say that I'm, I'm at a loss of love, but like a bandit, you've stolen my heart. And now all I can do is fart. Okay? I even wrote poetry for you guys. You should love me forever, okay? Remember that. You'll never find another man to write poetry for you. Just me. That's it. <laughs> what the rhymes? <laughs> oh, dude, we're out of arrows. So, if you guys could share the the stream, I'd really appreciate it. You could throw drop a like. A comment, an angry face, tell me I suck. I mean, anything will help the algorithm. I don't care. As long as you fucking do it. Honestly, it would make my motherfucking day, bro. Like, for real. So just drop some shit. Show the love. If you can't support financially, that's the best thing to do. Is just to drop a like and share and whatever, dude. Like, honestly. But if you can support financially, I strongly suggest that you would do it through direct payment because fuck stars, fuck bits, fuck all that shit, okay? Because that shit you don't see for a long fucking time, so it's not even worth it. No DLC? I mean, that's why do you think we're doing this run, Christopher? Because we're waiting for DLC so we can do it in this run. That's why we're learning this route. So we can do DLC included. So. It's in preparation to DLC, guys. It's good times. Sharing is caring indeed, yep. Igor, this guy. You fight Borealis, bro. Do it hitless, too. I want to watch that. When you do that... Hey, Igor, by the way. gonna have enough for this and I mean we might I highly doubt it though Sit down, boy! Mmm, que la chingada madre, pendejo. 
Calmate, cabron. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Chill the fuck out, homie. What's up, Jane? Welcome. I don't even know what the fuck you're doing, bro. Go sit back down. Thank you. What's up, Jane? Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to the YouTube, baby. Alright, so we got Knight's Calvary, Magma Worm, and this dork. I think we killed this dude already. I'm pretty sure we killed this dude. We killed the dragon, we killed the Knight Rider on this side. I think we're very close to finishing Kaled, actually. If I'm not mistaken. The Dragonkin's not hard, the one that's by the Lake of Rot. All you have to do is run away and shoot him with a bow. He's pretty fucking easy. I'm just sitting there waiting for me. He's like, are you coming, bro? Emily, an en en enemy melted is what it should say. All right, let's see. Trying to think. Let me look at the map real quick just to make sure. Oh shit, map genie closed. I forgot. Where would I, where was I opening map genie from? I don't even remember. I think it's from here. Map genie, baby! Alright, so that's that. I gotta get some bosses. Okay, so... Great boss, legendary boss, and boss. Alright. So, let's see. Let's see what we got here. So, we're Kaled. Okay, Putrid Avatar, but Watchdog. No, haven't done him yet. Did him. Did them. Did that dude. Did that dude. Did that dude. Did those do we haven't done those dudes yet. Hold on one second guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and then I will be right back, I promise. Let's go let's go here because we're gonna have to go here anyways. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. What's in my potion? Alcohol. And drugs. Narcotics, sir. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, we're going... You know what? Let's do this first before we go any further. I don't really use this. I'm not using it often. I will use the Mimic once in a while, especially if we're outnumbered. What's up, Christian? Welcome. Bye. I only use it, like, when we're outnumbered, basically, is the only time I'll use the Mimic. But we need the rest of the upgrade materials for the Mimic anyway, so we'll do this first. <laughs> and we'll come back to Kaled. Uh, it's the, the Faith Knot tier in the, the Fire Shrouding tier. So it increases my Faith by 10 points, and it also increases my Fire damage. Is what it is. Yes, because it scales more with faith. You're, you're double buffing. And then, of course, Flame Grant Me Strength increases fire damage as well as physical damage as well. Hence why we've mixed them together. If I really wanted to go batshit crazy, I'd end up fucking using the uh, Golden Vow as well. But, I don't really need it. Not early game, at least. Plus, I'm using the Ritual Sword Talisman, which also increases damage as well. So, I mean, it's just, this this character is built just for fire damage for right now until we build it for physical damage. That's why we're mostly scaling, we're mostly leveling faith. I mean, mostly leveling strength, excuse me. Yeah, meat consumable, but I'm not doing any farming, so fuck that. I don't farm. Farming is for bitches and hoes, and I ain't no bitch or hoe. I'm a princess, boy. Queen Ray. <laughs> That's right, boy. Whoa, shit, bro. That was dangerous as fuck. That was terrifying, boy. See all that? Look at that damage, bro. Look at that shit. <laughs> look at look at that. Look at that fucking shit. Did you see that damage? Holy crap, dude. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> I guess I'm a bitch in the <laughs> I mean, I'm just fucking kidding. It's a joke. Don't take it seriously. <laughs> it was a joke. It was. I wasn't serious. Don't get mad. All right. I don't take anything seriously. Then why are you so mad then, huh? Why why are you acting that way? Start doing that troll gaslight bullshit that the trolls suck at doing. Why are you so mad then? Huh? Why are you acting that way then if you're not mad? That's like a five-year-old strategy right there, dude. 
It really is. It's lame as fuck. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to make you offended. I don't know why you're so mad about it. Why are you so mad about it? Why are you taking it so personally? They never got out of got off of Phalanx? No, bro. Like, they still fucking use Phalanx, yeah. You get offended so easily. Endless cycle of gaslighting? Yeah, basically. It's the best part. The best part of waking up is a nine inch pecker in your cup. Hello! Welcome! I'm gonna burn you alive! What a wild ride it was for you, sir. Welcome! To the Nature Channel. Today we're murdering people with a large sword made out of fire. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Can you please get your pecker out of my copy? <laughs> it was only two inches long, but it weighed nine pounds. It was made out of solid steel. Hey, boys! Ow! Come here. Dude, you're not even looking over here with your fancy ass, dude. Turn around. Come here. Come here! Come here! Yeah! Come here! Yeah, there you go. Come on, you know you saw me. I know you- I know you saw me. I- I know you're proximity based. Come here, dude. Thank you. The fuck rides an ant? Yeah. Honey, I shrunk the kids! Ah, dude, I forgot these fucking dudes. I hate these dudes. Danny, what are you doing, man? How you been, Danny? You don't talk as much as you used to, man. What happened? You don't love me no more? Honey, I shrunk the tarnish. We're just getting all the armor, I guess. That's just how that works. Whatever. Sticking your pecker in a thing of hot coffee? I mean... I mean... 
mean, it could be worse. Just saying. Oh my! Yeah, that's right. Oh my! That's right. Damn straight. Turn around now, stuck in my head. What? Br what? Uh, that song? That song? That song right there? We're talking about. But the best part of waking up or turn around every now and then. That song? Yeah, that song gets stuck in my head like every other day. I don't have a plus four, I must buy a plus four. I have to buy a plus four. Presenting No Death Run the Musical. No Death Run the Musical. Good enough for Grandpa, I'm telling you right now. Plus 9 Mimic Tier is pretty damn good. Turn around every... Damn it, dude. That was your fucking doing, Justin. You bastard. I gotta get out of my head, boy. Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? I mean... There's a... So, okay, you gotta understand. There's a difference between like if you were to make a song called fuck right like think about it like if a dude is screaming fuck in a microphone over and over again and that's a song i mean no one's gonna listen to that okay but if a girl is like asmr type saying fuck in the microphone somebody's definitely gonna be listening to that one somebody's gonna be uh listening to that one a lot with their pants around their ankles sir i'm just saying and we know this is the case, for sure. Plus, I don't understand why in ASMR they'd be licking ears, bro. Like, that's pretty fucking gross. The NDR <laughs> musical, yeah. No Death Run the Musical. Oh yeah, this piece of shit. Can you even get up here, bro? I don't think you can get up here. I mean, yeah, and then you could like master mix it, right? Make it into a beat. I mean, it is a thing. Come on, guys. We need to talk about stuff. Talk about things. What do you want to talk about? We talking about soaking today and docking or are we talking about something else? What's going on? I want to know what's going on in chat. What's hip with you kids? What are you guys getting into? 
What kind of drugs are you doing these days? You almost killed me, you shit! I mean, I don't necessarily need to go this way, right? Oh yeah, I do. There's a hot dog by Limp Biscuit Man. 36 fucks, and this is... This fucked up rhyme. Uh, why are we even talking about Limp Biscuit, dude? It, it's fucking 2024, dude. Limp Biscuit has been dead and conquered for years now. But yet you're reminiscing about the ghost of a past enemy. How dare you on my stream do that? Oh, God, dude. Limp Biscuit is such garbage. Just watching my kids and mostly weed. I mean, that's a life, bro. That is a good life. I stuffed it into the epiglottis and saved it for later. I don't even know how Jane's doing anymore. Sounds like she's just drinking her life away in that fucking house she lives in now. I'm afraid I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find her in the Midwest. All like fucking drink out and stuff. Like a mummy and stuff, fucking the Death Valley Desert. Could you fucking stop, dude, please? Just a rando, that's it? I mean, tell me about your life, Kiba. How old are you? Where are you from? What is your experiences, guys? Come on, give me that. Give me age, sex, and location, guys. That's what I want. Like a creepy pervert on fucking Google or fucking, not Google, on fucking like AIM or like American online chat fucking. Just give me that shit. I want to hear it. What's up, Daniel? Welcome. Back at it again, dude, yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, fuck. Where is this thing at? There it is. Mappy map. Crucible Knight's dead. Star Squad got rid on. Beastman. Oh, we didn't do Beastman yet. Yeah, we could do Beastman. Beast Mana for Umzula. Your life is boring. Don't lie to me, Quinn. You said you were in the military, right? 
I the thing is I meet so many military dudes and they're always like I haven't really done much. I don't really have much going on. Just a guy from NY. Come on. There's got to be some spicy shit going on there, bro. Like I meet military dudes are like I haven't really I don't really do much uh and then these dudes went overseas and like fucking you know, we're in some serious shit. And they're like, oh yeah, I haven't done anything really. It's just I stay at home and work. It's like, dude, why do you downplay the shit you've done, Quinn? But you were still in the fucking military, bro. You traveled. You saw the world, right? So, I mean, don't give me that you haven't done shit because you have done a lot of shit. You know what I mean? I'm Japanese, is that kink here? No, nope, but I have something for you. There you go, enjoy. Did you, did you see how I killed the dragon? It's a great way to do it. I have gone on holiday and had pancakes for breakfast. Past your final... Dude, congrats dude on that. That's cool as shit, Daniel. This is a new playthrough. I've already I've already mentioned this. This is NG, bro. NG. <sighs> Who watched me kill the dragon yesterday? Yes, dude, do the gym. Get in the gym, bro! The Kaled Dragon? Yeah. A giant dildo sword. I'm cool with that. I'd be alright with that. Remember the cheese? The dragon cheese? Come on, Jane. The bridge dragon cheese? That was a good time. I'm gonna go have to save Jane. I'm gonna have to take her out. We have to go get Mexican food. I'm gonna buy her so many margaritas she doesn't even remember who she is. I think that's what I have to do. I think that's my mission in life after this run. Find Jane and save her soul, basically. And the dragon cheese? That's what I was talking about before I did. I was like, maybe we can get the dragon cheese. And everybody's like, what? 
And then I did the dragon cheese and everybody was like, I've never seen that before. That's exactly what happened, Daniel. That's what I did. That's exactly what I was talking about. All right, baby. All right, we got all that done. Mm. <clears throat> Let's figure out what we're missing. We're just missing the worm, I'm pretty sure. Future tree spirit or whatever. Future tree avatar in this area. Well, we're going to have to upgrade <laughs> the ancient greatsword or the ruins greatsword or whatever it's called first before we go any further death right Knights Calvary decaying Ezekiel's oh we haven't killed decaying Ezekiel's yet that piece of shit the decaying Ezekiel's no oh, we need arrows that's okay let's go get some arrows A dragon loves cheese? Interesting. We have to use our moral support mimic right here for this fight. Nope, stir if you want to make me one. <laughs> Which I highly doubt you want to. Because why would anyone want to do that? Just saying, I don't blame people that don't want to do that. My emotional support mimic helps quite a bit, actually. Oh, yeah, I hear the sound bites aren't working properly. I do hear that. Yeah, you hear that? Like, the, that's like the sound bites not working. So that means that Streamlabs is fucked, kind of. Honestly. We don't have enough for this. Hold on. Let's go back. My guy was too OP. That was level 713. I mean, I have a level a level 714 character. Or 713. I can't remember which one, but he's pretty high level. But that's also NG plus 165. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty intensely high up there. I don't know how this is going to help, but I'll take it anyways.
can't even fucking see his body, bro. Like. What's up, Blunt Trauma? Welcome. Okay, Dragon's dead. You keep running out of ammo, then use your, your melee weapon, Sean. If you have one equipped, I would strongly suggest having a melee weapon, just in general. Cause I've beaten the game with just melee weapons. It's you can do it. It's not fun though. <laughs> you took out Donkey's Donkey's girl, yeah. Why am I having a, such a hard time reading chat right now? What the fuck is wrong with me? My brain is like scattered. There's so much on my screen, that's why. I'm not used to it. Let me close this up, it might help. I just got used to reading two chats right now, like not too long ago, so... I have to just do this and prioritize it. But what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Wasn't paying attention. What is this again? I don't even remember what's in here. Oh yeah, the Visage Shield, that's right. So we're at 90 bosses! Which means we should probably kill the Fire Giant! Probably kill him because it's a good idea. Maybe. Maybe it's a good idea. Alright, so. Watchdog duo. God's can pause. Oh, da 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 Frenzy Duelist. Ah, here we go. There's a dude I missed. Frenzy Duelist. It's right here. Oh, no, I killed him. Never mind. He's dead. All right, never mind. I guess it's time to go kill Fire Giant. It is time to go kill Fire Giant. Yep, it's time. <laughs> Stab him in the red he red red ball sack. Uh, what's up, Raven? Welcome. I don't know about that, sir. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know about that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about stabbing anybody in a ball sack. That just the thought of it. What's up, Justin? Just the thought of stabbing someone in the ball sack just doesn't sound fun. Just, I'm gonna be that guy.
Mm, we're gonna need the cash though, so I'll just keep it. What's up, Justin? Welcome. We're gonna need the cash. We gotta get somewhere fast. I want your ball juices on my knife. Oh, dude. That's terrible. That is absolutely nasty. I mean, do you mean blood or are you talking about something else? Because there are juices that come from the balls, and I'm just saying, like, it could be a knife full of, you know... I'm just saying. Yep. I'm just saying. Oh my! Late with that one, but we still did it. It never comes out. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. That's nasty. Ninety-one, baby. Gonna get to ninety-one bosses. Where did he go? All right. This is my this is my second favorite one though. Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Like, he says it so intensely, too, when he's talking about that. Like, he just gets so fucking crazy about it. Gooch Ninja <laughs> instead of Fruit Ninja? Eesh. That sounds disturbing. I like it. Thanks for the GG, man. It's worth the 20% of your life. <laughs> Daniel. Damn, bro. You used to spend a lot of time with me in the past. You've been here for a long time, though, so it makes sense. The clap track, yeah. V 
Vasecti murder? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like an interesting fem, uh, femi black metal band. A Vasecti murder? So that's exactly what it sounds like. He's dirty as the rest. <laughs> Started innocent, and now he's now after five years, he's dirty as the rest. Yeah, I agree. Doesn't it sound like a Femi black metal band? Testicular piñata. We should start. We should start a power violence band just called uh, CBT. Let's call it CBT, right? It's pro fem, right? Was the original name of the Black Veil Brides. <laughs> ah, oh man, I've never heard a song by Black Veil Brides. Not once have I ever heard a song by Black Veil Brides, so I don't even know what they sound like. I've never heard a single song by them. I don't listen to heavy metal anymore, or just metal in general anymore. I don't listen to hardcore either. I used to listen to a lot of hardcore because I was a hardcore kid. If you're 14 and 20, that makes sense. I don't listen to any like screaming music anymore. I used to listen to that all the time. That's all I used to listen to. I was really into the hardcore stuff for a long time. But now I just don't listen to any of it. I think I'm over it, you know what I mean? You just get over it at some point where you just don't want to deal with it anymore. Picture mixed... Picture... Just picture mixed with church gospel music and that every song ever wrote. That's every salt song ever wrote. The Hitless Fire Giant strats, yeah, they're pretty easy, dude, if you do them right. But it can go south a lot of the time, depending on the RNG, because sometimes he likes to wiggle around. He's a piece of shit. I hate that boss, especially on low damage runs. Like, he's annoying. Happened with full punk, that's fair. Anything from jazz to metal? Yeah, I like a lot of stuff, man. It's just, I spent so much time going to hardcore shows and stuff, you know what I mean? I used to go to like a show every weekend. And we used to see bands every weekend. And like, literally there was a whole point, like a whole decade in my life where I literally spent at shows like every, every other day. Every Thursday, every Saturday, every Wednesday, like I would be going to fucking shows. You know what I mean? So, like, for me, like, I'm just over the scene, kind of, a little bit. Plus, I kind of had some people ruin the scene for me a little bit, too. Which didn't really help me.
Yeah, when he's in a small arena like that, I fucking hate it, Kiba. Yeah, that's the worst. You're not wrong. Stop smoking? What? Smoking cigarettes? Yeah, no, like, honestly, like, I would go, like, we, like, one of the first shows I ever went to was Madball. And I don't remember who else was playing. It was Madball and someone else. And then I saw Madball again with Agnostic Front. And then it started, just kept spiraling. You know what I mean? It just kept going and going and going and, like... You know what I mean? I was into like LA Hardcore, like Black Flag and Circle Jerks and all that stuff, you know what I mean? For a long time. And like, then I got into Straight Edge and I was Straight Edge for eight years. And they always do that thing, well if you aren't now, you never were, right? Good! It's the way to do it, Jason. You know, I got into all that. Like, I was there, I was at these shows, I would go see Good Clean Fun. Bane, like, you know what I mean? And then, of course, you get the really off-brand sometimes, like, you'd get Fugazi, which is a rare-ass show to get to, and you'd have to fly to, like, fucking Boston just to see Fugazi, and it's like, dude, really? And then I was like, after a while, I just kind of stopped going to the ridiculous shows, and just started going to the local shows only, and then when I started going to the local shows only, then it was like... Every week, every fucking three days, there was a goddamn show, and I'd be at them shows. And then eventually, I just stopped dancing at the shows. And then eventually, it was like I was just over it. Like honestly, a hardline dude from the movement, he ruined it for me. Honestly, hardliner ruined it for me because he was talking about interjecting violence into the scene and I'm just like, dude, I don't want to deal with this shit anymore because I'm a very non-violent person. So I kind of got over it, you know what I mean? And like, I love beatdown music. Beatdown music is fun. Beatdown hardcore is pretty fun, but it's just, it's the same fucking thing over and over again with the chugs and like the, you know, betray you know, like it's always the same shit. It's like, you used to be down, now you're not down with the scene, now we don't like you, you just shouldn't show your face around here, that kind of... It's literally the same fucking lyrics over and over again, like, so I'm just like, nah. Rotting Out, though, is good. I still like some Rotting Out. I listen to some LA Rotting Out stuff here and there's. But they're, they're definitely older now, older cats. The last show I went to was Bane's quote-unquote last show. With Turnstile. And after that, I was done with with uh, hardcore. Like I just straight up said it. Like, okay, this is my last show. I'm not coming anymore. You know what I mean? That was it. I was done with it. And I just started exploring pop music after that. And I've been a pop baby for a long time now, since that happened. It's just like with fashion, man. Like honestly, like people don't understand fashion. I love fashion. Believe it or not, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, fan of fashion because I, I find the art in fashion. I'm one of those people. Like, you know what I mean? Alexander McQueen is one of my favorite designers. Galliano is one of my favorite designers. But like, for instance, like music to me is art as well. You know what I mean? And there are things that happen within the strata of music that is considered art. But it's also pretentious in reverse, and people don't realize that. Especially me, I didn't get that part of it. It was always the same shit. Like, I was one of those people back in the day, I was a gatekeeping type motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm guilty of the gatekeeping. But I learned that it's not all about, not all about that shit. You know what I mean? And that art can be found in anything, really, if you really look hard enough.
So that's why I say that. Like, like people like like me, we used to besmirch pop music. Like I used to like be really really advert. Like I hated pop music. I couldn't stand Britney Spears. I couldn't stand the Backstreet Boys. I couldn't listen to any of this shit. Right? I would get so fucking like irritated with it. But then, like, I started to realize that it's a lot like fashion in my in my mind. Like, you may not understand this, and it may be something that, you know, maybe it's part of the mentality you have or whatever. Maybe you do get it. Who knows? But for me, like, pop music is a high-end artistic expression. Like fashion design. And there are certain pop musicians that actually pull it off really well. So, like, right now, like, I'm an Ariana Grande fan, obviously, right? So... Dua Lipa, I love Dua Lipa. I really do love her. She's great. But Ari just released a new single, okay? And within five days, Ariana had like 15 million views on her video, right? And I'm part of a group of people that rewatch her videos to try to heighten her fucking views and stuff, right? I know this sounds weird and shady and kind of strange, right? But that's what we do. We watch her videos to try to get her higher views because we want her album to drop at number one. But the reasoning is like this, like, you have to understand, like, Dua Lipa released the, uh, her Houdini track, like, two months ago. You know what I mean? And she's got 15 million views. No, she had 36 million views last, last time I looked. And Ari released an out, uh, a, a single, like, four days ago, and it's got 15, right? So, what it is is that... At the higher end tier of this, and this is what I'm trying to say, is that the singles themselves represent certain works of art that are a higher tier specific to pop music. And that's why I appreciate pop music because of what it really is sometimes, especially with Ariana Grande, because she writes 90% of her own music. And if you don't believe me, you can Google it. I respect, I respect her music very much because of that. Like, I like Dua Lipa, but I'm not sure if she writes her own fucking stuff. I really don't. I'm not sure at all. But that's what I do. I appreciate the art form that is pop music. I've started to understand the nuances of pop music. And before it was like, I like jazz, and I do love jazz. I'm a big fan of jazz. You know what I mean? I, I love me some jazz anywhere be between the 19 fucking 20s all the way up to the 1960s. You know, and I, I love me some, you know, swing music. I love Tommy Dorsey. I love a lot of different shit, you know. But it's just, it, right now, I'm definitely in a pop mode. I can't get out of the pop mode. I, I really do enjoy the pop stuff. Juice World's actually really underappreciated, Bryce, I think. Like, I know he was a drug addict, and I know all this other shit happened, and he wasn't necessarily, the, like, the best living person. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not looking at her body, Ryan. That's what you gotta understand. Just like Andy Warhol, I'm pretty sure they didn't care he was a little short dude with blonde hair. So, there you go. I know his fan base was massive, but there was a lot of people that don't like Juice World, bro. I mean, look what happened to him. Think about it. But in the mainstream media, he's kind of underappreciated. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. What, Seven Rings? Yeah, Seven Rings. That was a great album, by the way. That specific album was really good. <laughs> Michael. 
But that's why I say that people don't get like when you're into pop music because it's the gatekeeping mental. I was that person. I had that problem. I was acting that way too. I did the same shit. It's like when you start to see things for what they are and it starts to change your mentality a bit. You know what I mean? And like I said, growing up, I wasn't allowed to listen to pop music at all. I was told it was trash instead of trying to figure that out for myself. Hardcore music is what it is too. There's an art form to it. There's really good hardcore bands. I mostly like the mel melodic stuff now. You know what I mean? I like the melodic stuff. Like Touche Amore and like, uh, what are they called? I can't even remember right now. They're mostly like sp spoken word stuff. Like, I'll play a Touche Amore, okay? I love Touche Amore. This, this band is what I'm talking about when I think about pinnacle, like, hardcore melodic stuff. They're really fucking good. If you've never heard Touche, and if it's not your cup of tea, that's totally fine, but I'll play some Touche real quick because I love I love Touche more. I think they're really good. So. Let's see. Let's do some classic, though. Classic is better. Oh, this song, man. Holy shit. Disinspired. See, that's like melodic. That's not beat down. Because, like, beat down is vastly different. And, of course, I love beat down too, but this is like my favorite beat down band of all time. I mean, modern. Let's just put it that way. This is definitely one of the, like, click up type songs. Like, the others. Find them and tell them not to doubt. This is be this is the traditional what I got into when I first got into hardcore. 
this kind of music specifically. It's classic. It's beat down. It's like you can act like a dumb fuck listening to this. Classic, I mean. Fuck it, die. See, this is this is beat down, but then like, there's this. All right, this is like what I listened to <laughs> when I got into like posy. I was a posy. I was a posy straight edge kid. So this this is like classic. But listen to this. Think of the, the lyrics here. That's how this album starts. Positively positive is what it's called. This is classic too. This is Posy Core from back in the day. So like that's why I said there's different types of hardcore within hardcore itself. And that's why like you get into certain types of hardcore and you see the art in the hardcore stuff. You see the you see the art in like other stuff. You know what I mean? And it all it all just depends on what your tastes are. You know what I mean? Like I've listened to some I've listened to metal, I've listened to hardcore, I've listened to a lot of different stuff. But Art just, art's amazing. I love art, art in general. You know what I mean? And to me, music is art. So that's why I say that. It's just, some people don't understand that there's a difference between just like, oh, I'm gonna bring my head to like, this actually has some fucking deep-seated meaning to it. Yeah, subgenres, yeah. What's up, Otto? Welcome.
not good. Thanks for the GG's guys. No one even cared that I killed Fire Giant. No one gives a shit, Ray, that's why. Like, oh yeah, he killed him again, big deal. <laughs> Thanks for the GG. I appreciate it. The single GG. What? The foul foot? No, the foul foot doesn't work with the the golden runes now. Did we count them? Did we count them? I don't even remember. We're just gonna put 93 anyways. Whatever. Oh, we need intelligence. We need 15 intelligence. I'm ready. I'm ready. <sighs> you know what's funny? Did you ever watch me do it the first time, Jacob? Did you ever watch me do that? Dude, I had so much trouble with that boss, bro. Like, I, I think I probably had more trouble than you did. More than likely. It took me like fucking 13 hours to beat his ass. I don't know why I was having such a hard time with that fight. Now that I know how to fight him. Thought I was a genius? Yeah. No, man, I struggled. The first time I fought Fire Giant, I struggled with him for like 13 hours. 
It was pretty terrible. Like, I've, I've learned since, of course, you know, but that's through repetition, quite literally, because that boss, the first time I fucking, I did it, it was just not easy for me at all. It was pretty rough. You remember that, Jane? Yeah, I had a I had a really hard time with him. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, when you're doing other runs, though, it's different than doing, like, a standard, because the first playthrough is definitely different. The first playthrough, definitely, I think that's the boss I stayed at the longest. Like, every other boss was not as difficult to me for some reason. I don't know why. And, it, and you know what I think it was is that I didn't know I had to basically just attack his ankles. That's pretty much what I think it was. Because I kept trying to fight him like a normal boss, but I didn't realize he was a gimmick boss. You know what I mean? So I think that's kind of why I had so much trouble with that boss. I didn't realize it was a gimmick boss because that's what it is, is a motherfucking gimmick boss. And then when I started th th thinking of Fire Giant as basically Bed of Chaos, just a different Bed of Chaos, then things started changing because then I understood how to do certain things that I couldn't do before with him. And that's kind of where my learning started for Fire Giant. Because if I viewed him as a regular boss, then it would just make shit more difficult for me. When I start thinking of him as a gimmick boss for some reason, it makes it much easier. How many people are watching the stream, guys? How many people? Twenty seven. What? That's fair. Gimmick boss because he's a puzzle boss. You have to look at him that way. Think about it this way. Have you have you played the other Souls games or no? The other Souls games, Justin, have you played them or no? By gimmick boss, I basically mean he's a puzzle boss. 
by Puzzle Boss, he is only basically damaged by certain things, certain specific things that happen. Yeah. There are other puzzle bosses in, in other Souls games, and we call them gimmick bosses, basically. Like, uh, Yorm, the giant, is considered a gimmick boss. If you go and watch the Yorm fight, or like the Storm Ruler, any of the Storm Ruler fights, one from Demon Souls or whatever, they're gimmick fights. They're not real, real boss fights. Alright, Chun, sounds good, dude. Yeah, like like Shadow of the Colossus, yeah. You gotta find vulnerable parts exactly. That's exactly right, Jane. That's exactly right. Yeah, once you start DS3 and you find Yorm, you'll figure that out. Right card's a gimmick boss, hell yeah, right card's a gimmick boss. But he's also a really good gimmick boss. Let's see, what am I doing? Uh, Ashes of War. Oh, we didn't even grab the goddamn knife, bro, for real. Missing all kinds of shit here. Are there gimmick bosses in Liza P? I mean, one, I guess, that's it. And it's like, not really. You still have to earn it. So, yeah, not really. Really not fall asleep to that? Alright, whatever. You'll fall asleep to this though.
Thanks for the GG. I appreciate, boy. Am I wrong, or is it just kind of an awkward stream? I'm very awkward right now. I don't know what caused me to be awkward, but I feel really awkward right now. I don't feel relaxed at all. I feel really awkward. It's like it's my first stream, and like I'm afraid of disappointing somebody or something. It's what it feels like. It's weird. I think it's because of all the shit on the on the fucking screen over here on the other side. That could be it. You look good doing it. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I don't I don't know why I feel that way though. It's weird. It doesn't make any sense at all. It could be. Away here. Jesus, that was close. That was terrible, dude. That would have cost me the whole fucking run right there if I didn't calm down for a second. What the fuck, dude? Where are this? Where's the parry at, bro? For real. Run. Dodge, duck, dive, fucking dodge a ball, boy. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Come on, come here. We got this. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I beat this guy hitless all the time. No, I felt that way since like before I got the fire giant. I felt nervous about the run and not the run, but just nervous in general. I don't know if it's the coffee or what. Like I feel really wired right now. Super fucking wired. Like, and I don't know how to explain it. Like I feel really weird. I think I'm gonna have to take a piss real quick just to like relax. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Michael. I think I'm okay now. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel awkward right now. I don't know what it is. I think talking about it helps though sometimes. Like if you don't feel good, it definitely helps you to kind of relax a little bit because I don't know. This run is pretty hard, but that's not why I feel awkward. I don't know. The stream, the stream part of it's what make what's making me feel awkward, and I don't know why that is. I don't usually feel awkward on stream. Like right now, I do feel really awkward, and I don't know why, where that's coming from specifically. Doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm gonna slow it down. We're gonna slow the run down a little bit and just try to chill out. It's like erectile dysfunction for streaming, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you don't want that. I guess because I'm not, like, I mean, as open as I am with stream, sometimes I feel like I'm not open enough. You know what I mean? And, like, recently, I've made a big decision to kind of open up a lot more than I used to. And I think I could be part of it because I feel uncomfortable because I feel kind of exposed about it. That could be part of it. But I don't think that's the whole of it. It's just weird. I don't know. You know what I mean? Maybe I feel like the people that have been here long enough, I'm afraid of their, their disapproval, kind of. You know what I mean? Like Jane, I don't want to... Believe it or not, I'm actually really worried about Jane not liking me. As weird as it sounds. Or like Michael, like, not liking me or something like... And it's weird, I know it doesn't make sense, but... Like everybody else, especially randos, I don't give a fuck about. Don't care. You know what I mean? Like, but everybody, but like Jane, people like Jane and like, you know what I mean? Like they are like, I don't want to make you guys disappointed in me. Let's put it that way. And that's how I feel. Like I'm going to make you guys disappointed somehow. It's stupid and like not logical at all. It doesn't make any sense. Some good BS. Yeah, no, I've been a lot more vocal about my proclivities and stuff on stream you know what i mean and it hasn't really backfired per se it's just i'm not used to being that disarmed you know what i mean i'm pretty cranky today and don't want to bring up crap on to my I don't want to bring my crap to street. Don't, Jane, don't feel bad. Don't feel like you should, shouldn't should have to do that. I get it because, I mean, look where you're at. Look at the situation you're in. You know what I mean? Like, I would be cranky too <laughs> if I were you. And that's why, like, I'm, like, worried about you because I know that, like, you're out there in the middle, like, of a fucking just a freeze, like, hardcore. And everybody in the stream that's out there in the, in the same situation, I feel bad for y'all. Like, it's not, it's not cool to be in that situation, you know what I mean, but... I appreciate it, Bryce, I really do. Michael, you've been here since, like, the beginning of time, bro. Same with Daniel, even though he's really busy with his schoolwork or Adrian, like, they're, like, friends of mine technically you know what i mean so that's why i say that and like it's it's different when you let down strangers but it's different when you let down people that you care about do you see what i'm saying that's why i say that Animals to strip? <laughs> Jacob, you're weird. Fifteen years, yeah. 
I mean, it's kind of a culture shock, right? It's different, isn't it? Like, way different where you're at compared to where you were. Like, that's got to be a fucking culture shock. I, you know what it is? And I'm not trying to project. And I'm, I'm sorry. I hate projecting things on people. I don't like it. But I don't have a family like most people have a family. You know, and I'm not trying to get people to feel bad for me. So don't think that's what I'm doing here, okay? Like... This is probably the most stable group of people I've known for my whole entire life. Like, I, I've never really been able to, like, have a group of people that in my life where I've known them for years, I guess. You know what I mean? So that's why I say that. It's like, I think that's part of it because, like, I really do love my community. Like, a lot. Like, people don't realize that I actually really do adore my community. And that's the thing about it. I don't get paid a lot to do this. I don't, I don't fucking, like, make millions of dollars. I'm not rich and famous. So my number one focus has always been the community. You know what I mean? And the thing is, there's people in the community like Max Keenan, Donato, Michael, you know what I mean? Jose, Bo, and stuff that have always been very supportive and part of my life, kind of. And that's why, like, the idea of quitting streaming is, like, a painful idea, and I don't want to be a part of that, you know what I mean? Dan, yeah, Dan, Danny, too. Danny Torrance. Just kidding. But I think that's kind of what it is, is that I'm worried about Jane and all this other stuff's going on in my head. You're fine, Keenan. No worries, dude. Give us a reach around. I mean, that's the thing about it. Like, it's just weird, man. You know, the thing is, I have, like, my mother was, like, the most supportive person I knew, even though she wasn't a good woman. And I can't lie and say she was a good woman because she really wasn't. Um, Was the most supportive person I knew. My dad, I mean, he tries. My dad tries to be supportive. You know what I mean? But, like, me and him, his relationship with me is more, we're like friends. It's It doesn't feel like it should with a, f a father and son, unfortunately. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. But, like, that's why I say, like, most of the people that I have in my life are legitimately you guys. That's what, you guys are what I have. But I know that sounds corny and stupid and, like, kind of ridiculous because it's a bunch of strangers online, but that's what I have. At least I- yeah, exactly. At least I have that. Win-win, that's fair. I mean, because a lot of people besmirch the concept, Kiba, that's why. Like, people besmirch, oh, well, they're just people you know online. They're not real people. Like, society will tell you that. Mo like, not modern society, but, like, the, mo the so society before our generations will do that. You know what I mean? It's just fucking annoying. Like, especially, like, as you, if you work as a streamer, people don't get that shit. They'll be like, oh, you can make money doing that, you know? And it's like, dude, this is, yeah, of course. Why would I be doing it if I can't make money doing it, you know? But that's not why I do it at all. So, I mean, there you go.
Rather we know each other in real life and not... Rather know each other... Rather we know each other in real life or not we helped each other out through this shit and throughout the years all of us, all of us have. Yeah, it's true. Hard to not get a connection. Yeah, I agree. Everybody's situation is different. If we were... What you have and we care, we do... We, which we do, then that's fine. Y'all are gonna make me cry. <sighs> Shrine of Amana sucks, dude. Good luck. Oh, that's not even fucking hitting him. Okay, this guy is just being really crazy right now. Fifteen, boy, yeah. Fifteen intelligence. We can one hand this because I have the bomb. No way, really. Let me move sh some of this shit around so chat doesn't look so menacing to me. All right, so let me put this over here. Let me move this over this way. Let me close this crap, because this crap is fucking driving me insane. There we go. That works. That's better. All right, that looks much better. Okay, now I can actually read it. Col the cold blew a breaker. I lost power for four days, and all I have is my furnace right now. Dude, that sucks. Shoot me your address, and I can ship you a case of taco seasoning to brighten your day. Go to fucking hell, Dave. Yeah, Shrine is beautiful, though. It is a beautiful area. That's what you gotta understand. It's it's a pain in the ass, but it's definitely beautiful. And it, I mean, I'm, I'm back on the other subject, though. That's the thing about it. I think I just feel bad. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like if I expose something about myself, you guys will like me less. I think that's kind of what it is. And it's a stupid fear that doesn't make sense. And, but it's I think it's human nature to be that way. You know what I mean? I think it's just human nature for us to do that sometimes where we're just like, yeah, they don't they're not going to like me anymore for whatever reason. Cuz I don't care about strangers, I care about people that care about me. Do you see what I'm saying? But this is literally the last boss in Kaelin aside from the worm, which we're not going to kill the worm yet until later cuz I don't want to kill him right now. I like you being more authentic. I appreciate it. Now I feel better. Now I feel better. Alright, I'm good. Enough of that shit. <laughs> Let's kill some bosses. Dude, I can one-hand this stupid sword, bro. Do you believe that shit? It's dumb. A thousand damage, bro. Jesus. That is just disgusting. How are you charging your phone, Keenan?
I'm not the best at souls, but I do appreciate you, Max. Your girl can lift the yeah. <laughs> It's fucking stupid. Like, it, this, this weapon is too big. Nobody could lift this in real life, dude, honestly. I don't really believe that would be a thing. You know what I mean? Like, come on, look at this shit. It's stupid. It's too big, man. The boot too big. Two K. <laughs> I benched. I benched two K. Yeah, no shit, right? Crushed by it immediately, yeah. In Asian difficulty, yeah. Oh shit, no way, really? Well, I mean, you kind of got, you kind of lucked out there, Keenan. Holy fuck, dude. That's that's rough still, though. Honestly. No, I don't I don't think it's about the same size as this fume knight. It's about the same size, give or take, just a little bit smaller maybe. But you know the fume knight is thinner though. It's much thinner. It's about the size of the you know what? The dragon bone smasher is bigger. Only thinner than this. Getting to a hundred, guys. Let's take it slow. All I know is I'm gonna finish that stupid ass grave I died in last time. It kills you every time. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You know what they don't have though, like on the soundboard? They don't have the, uh, what's it called? You honor me with your presence. I would love that to say to people. You honor me with your presence.
Like this, uh, the way that you outfit this character though, like, it's kind of annoying sometimes because weight, obviously, is tied to endurance, which sucks sometimes. I don't, I don't like that sometimes. I wish there was an attribute just for weight distribution in this game. Like there is in Dark Souls 2. I kind of wish they would do that. They didn't do that in the first place? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Because if you think about it, st stamina management itself could be aided with the idea of less stam stamina stamina usage. Do you see what I'm saying? So like for instance, if you had like a like a a stat that was tied specifically to encumbrance, like you could probably uh what do you call it? Do more with the amount of stamina that you have versus leveling stamina to do more like do you see what i'm saying like you have to level stamina to get more attacks right but if you add a stat that was basically um encumbrance then basically what would happen is that you wouldn't have to level stamina it would just reduce the amount of stamina that you use do you see what i'm saying so that's why i don't really necessarily understand like the way that stamina works in the souls regular souls games in my opinion. Like, they could have just done it that way instead, and it would have made more sense to me. Or you could probably choose to go most, more stamina in order to do something. I'm just saying, like, I, I have nothing against the way that the system's set up. It's just, it doesn't seem as streamlined as it possibly could be. A defense stat? You're talking about resistance? Resistance stat? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, because imagine leveling a character and not having to wear armor. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why it's kind of, in my opinion, a good choice to have that option, but... I don't I guess it simplifies it, though. I mean, think about it, it does simplify it quite a bit to do it the other way. It does, though, Max, you're correct. Yeah, because imagine if your character just has thick skin in general, like, it would be interesting as opposed to having to wear armor to do so. Plus, at the same time, imagine leveling both resistance and wearing armor. And you basically become, like, impervious. Which is pretty damn cool, in my opinion. But the thing is, is sacrificing all those stats will also reduce the amount of damage you do, too. So that, that would definitely make the game a lot more interesting. So, like, if you did that, you wouldn't have to level Vigor, you know what I mean? You'd basically, like you were saying, so you'd basically do the same thing with Stamina, but it would just be different.
Thanks for the GG's, guys. We're almost at a hundred, baby. Almost at the hundo. Yeah, this sword's really good. Well, it's quick as fuck, too, for being so big. As big as it is, it's very, very quick. Oh, the magma one? Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever used it. Is it that good? Not even on like my first playthrough I've ever used it. It, it does it have like the Exile Greatsword move set or no? think I'll check it out right now I probably could use it with this uh, the stats I currently have I probably could use it Dual ra real, uh, rune great sword. <sighs> Scales with strength and faith. Oh, interesting. Hold on, let me check it out. Oh, that's the jumping attack one, right? This is the one that does the jumping attack. Yeah, bro. I know this one. I do know this one. That's not too bad. Alright, we need to do Volcano Manor area. So I need to get the fuck out of here. I don't know what I'm doing right here. I'm like, I, I thought I could bypass Volcano Manor. I forgot about Volcano Manor. L2. Ah, interesting. You're fine, no worries, man. That was me on Saturday, dude. I had this fucking white wine. It was so good. <sighs> I drank too much of it, though. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I drank too much white wine. I was like... Slurring. Until I got home, of course, and then it was like... Then I was chill, but... I'm glad I didn't fucking eat my edible before I fucking started drinking that wine though, because that would have been pretty bad. Alright, so now we start Volcano Manor. 
This area is annoying. That's all I'm gonna say, it's annoying as fuck. It's annoying because it's so jumbled together. It's cool looking and it's like the atmosphere is neat and all that, but I just really, really don't like how close together everything is. It's just way too jumbled compared to the rest of the game. Like, I think maybe if they would have done the whole game like this, it wouldn't be bad, but since this is the only area in the game that's like this, it kind of makes it irritating a little bit. I think maybe that was the point though. I think that's what they were going to do with the game is the way they have it right now. It would stand a reason if that's what they were doing, in my opinion. What's up, Jesse? Welcome, dude. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> what is he planning on doing there? He has his skirt up and everything.
Hit the hundos, baby! We in the hundos, baby. Yeah, but I can't use it because of copyright reasons, Logan, unfortunately. I agree, but it's not going to happen. Sadly. Would you guys be annoyed if I farmed to, uh... No, the, the, you gotta understand, Chrono Trigger is more like open, what do you call it? Open domain. Zelda definitely has some reoccurring themes throughout the fucking entire franchise, bro. Chrono Trigger ain't around no more. Even Tears of the Kingdom has the same music, dude. Some of the same music from the original Zelda games. So anything close to it, it's gonna cause problems unless it's done by different instruments. Up, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. That was close. Jesus. <laughs> that was terrifying. Woo. <laughs> I'm gonna go and farm. We're gonna farm a little bit here, cause that was brutal. Another heart attack, no shit. I'm gonna farm my, my uh, vitality up to 45. I don't care, I'm gonna do it, cause fuck that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was fucking bad, dude. That was terrifying. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says, I'm farming for a little bit. I don't think I can though because it's gonna take so long to farm, dude. Versus not farming. We need a lot of souls now though. Malekath won't give me... He'll give me enough souls, but I can't kill Malekath just yet. I have to do this area if I'm going to do Malekath, basically. If I respec, though, it won't... You know what? If I take shit out of... Yeah, we can respec real quick. And then respec back if we need to. Let's do that instead. Mm. 
Nah, we're not doing the bird. I mean, everything gets toasted by the, the fucking Blasphemous Blade, though. That's the thing about it. It really does. But if I just change my points here... Faith to 21. Intelligence to 15. Right there. That gives me a few more points to play around with. So this should definitely help. It just won't be... We won't be hitting as hard, basically. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. 40, the 45 will save my ass, believe it or not. And maybe a different suit of armor here. Because this armor is not cutting it anymore. Yeah, that works. Alright, that should be better. Oh, it didn't help that I was using this, too. That definitely didn't help. Yeah, that definitely made it worse. That's why I stopped using the Flame Scorpion after a while, because it actually does more damage to you. Which is fucking lame, but it does. I've never actually listened to that soundtrack, I don't think. Is it good? Dude, what the fuck? Why are you shooting it? Dude, follow the fucking Mimic, bro. It's right there. There's a couple of bangers on it. I'll check it out, dude. Yeah, I'll check it out.
You know the thing about a run, though, that where everything goes wrong, like everything doesn't seem correct, is usually the run that's going to be the run? Did you know that? I don't know if you guys ever ever realize that if you've watched enough of my runs where everything doesn't work out properly or isn't done the right way, more than likely that's the run you're gonna you're gonna get that run because of that. As weird as it sounds, it actually most of the time is the case. Paying more attention, maybe it could be it. Yeah, it was the case with a no hit run, yeah, correct. Oh, they're pretty damn good, Kenny. I like this shit, dude. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, yes, just don't even fucking hit her at all, dude. Yeah, I like that shit, dude. It's pretty good. I have to give it another listen, though, man. Honestly, because I was kind of drunk <laughs> when I listened to it. So, But I did like it. I do remember liking it. Thanks for the GG's, guys. That was, like, brutal. That's what I'm saying. Like, this run is seeming brutaler than usual for whatever reason. Throw me an original song. I appreciate it. Thanks, Keenan. I appreciate you for that. All right, we're going to do this cave now because I don't want to do it later. Last time, this is where we died. Fuck this cave. Complacency is the killer in this game. You're not wrong. Back above 20 degrees and it feels so good. That's sad, bro. Come back to Arizona, Logan. It's like fucking 50 degrees outside, dude.
On your birthday? Nice. Yeah, dude, June is the worst, dude. Yeah, I agree. You don't want to be here during June. Nobody wants... Not even I want to be here during June, dude, because fuck that. Feels like minus 35 because of that wind chill factor? Yeah, that's why I was asking what you wear out there during that period of time. Because I didn't understand or comprehend how that worked, basically. Lots of layers. <laughs> he just died? He just killed himself? Every piece of clothing you own, I believe it. Glorious, good, dude. Fuck that dragon boy. Sleep. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so we gotta be very careful here. Because the dude last time did try to kill me, so pretty hard. And he didn't try to kill me this time. What the fuck? Whatever. That's what I get for preparing for nothing for something that's not gonna happen, basically. <sighs> Gotta love RG. No shit, man. Bullshit.
Over prepare is the way. It is the way to play the game, though. There's nothing wrong with over preparing. Stuck in your houses, that's fair, man, Jesse. Yeah, because being stuck in your house ain't fun, dude, and I totally get that part. I really do. Alright, that that's over with. Thank God, we don't have to do that again. Done. Over and done with. Oh! <laughs> you can stream at my house! <laughs> no shit, right? That'd be funny, dude, if I chose to do that at some point. Just randomly go to people's houses and stream there. Like, people that watch the stream. The flu last month. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad I helped you through the flu, man. <laughs> Just randomly at people's houses fucking streaming for no reason. Yeah, that ladder is really long. What's up, Marius? Welcome. Some fries ready? <sighs> Dude, I love fries. French fries are good, bro. I love me some French fries, boy. All right, we gotta we gotta actually probably kill Moog downstairs in the capital soon after we're done with this. We're gonna do the capital next, and I don't mean like the whole entire Lindell. I just mean the capital. Cause there's a bunch of shit over there. A bunch of shit to kill in the capital.
<laughs> sausage yards. <laughs> I don't even know how you would pull that off, honestly. All right. I mean, it could be the gypsy, the gypsy, like, what do you call it? Challenge kind of thing, like what we could do. If I did do that, I did go traveling. What it is is that I have to go to, <laughs> it sounds nuts, okay? And just hear me out, all right? But what I have to do is go to the, the most invested followers' houses and do a no death run at their house. And that's the challenge. I have to go to each of the most invested followers' houses and do fucking a do a no death run there. And I have to go all over the country and even outside of the country just to do it. That would be an interesting that would be an interesting run. And bring some kind of mobile setup so I can do the run, you know? The charge will set I'll I'll bring my own my own setup. I'd bring it everywhere I went, basically. Say my travel vlog? Yeah, I could do that. I could definitely do that. Hey, you know what, Max? As long as it gets done, dude, I don't care if your kids are screaming behind me. That'd be hilarious to do. <laughs> Finding an electrical outlet in your house is the challenge. The fart cannon, I mean the jar cannon. Four alert night gaming bus? Yeah, I could do it. That's what I'm saying. If I could get like an RV, I could do it like I could just bring my equipment with me, bring it into the house somewhere. And you all have to deal with that, but it'll be funny as shit to do that.
Thanks for the GG's. I appreciate it. Should make it happen? That'd be hilarious, dude. That would be hilarious. I mean, I'll talk to my partner. I'll see what my partner says. I'm pretty sure my partner will be on, on board with it, though. My partner's pretty cool. Yeah, I saw that, Christopher. Yeah, they're done with it. Forlorn van? Yeah. Instead of candy, I'll be passing out Dark Souls. All creepy and shit in a white van with the fucking tinted windows. Want some candy, little boy? Hey, what's up, John? How you doing? Yeah, I saw they turned out the servers. I mean, but it means that they're building other stuff, Christopher. That's what you gotta understand. That the reason why they're doing that is because they're gonna build other games soon, which I'm pretty stoked for. No, uh, Scholar the First Sin doesn't count because it's not vanilla. That's the reason why. They're only the vanilla games, basically. You know what I mean? That's the ones that they turned off. Yeah, everything else is fine, yeah. Hold on one second.
get a gypsy wagon? Yeah. I was like, why is it not doing as much damage? It's because it was one-handed, that's why. Instead of two-handed. That's fine. 109. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get off soon because I have to go to my daughter's doctor appointment. But I will probably be back tonight. If not, I'll be back tomorrow. So we're at 109 now. I have to double check to make sure there's no more bosses in this area. But I will say, oh my, we're doing really well. So it's just she's going to an endocrinologist because I have uh, thyroid problems. You know what I mean? So that's kind of why she's going to an endocrinologist. She doesn't necessarily have any problems. It's just preemptive, basically. The prelate. Full grown. Demi human queen. Ulcerated tree spirit. Kindred of rot, too. That's the one we haven't done yet. That's in a cave. That's on the other side. So we only have, like, one more boss in this area, technically. So I think I'm going to stop here. We're at 3 hours and 20 minutes. I usually run for 5 hours. Usually. So, you guys, if you don't see me... Like, on stream, like around 9pm, just double check the page. I might be on. Facebook won't give you notifications. Um, so, if I don't see you tonight, I'll see you tomorrow. We might run the rest of... Uh, What's it called? The capital. And then move on to Consecrated Snowfield. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the greatest souls community on the internet. I'll see you guys later or tomorrow.